that song right. Shalom, first and foremost, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rekabadash. The Lord's impossible, great millstone that rule well. Shalom to those in the house and byways, doing the works sincerely and faithfully, and continually fighting that good fight of faith. Lord willing, we have found that number to be delivered. But until then, we're going to keep on prophesying the downfall of America, we keep talking about and prophesying about the death and destruction of Babylon the Great and all those who are opposed to this word. May death be unto your doorstep as well. All right? With that, we're gonna bring out the latest prophecies, yep. the latest articles, because shit is now heating up, man. Things are heating up, and it's a beautiful time to be living right now. And it's a beautiful time to be in this ministry that the Lord has set us up in. Why? Because now we're seeing the things that we've so been desiring to see throughout life, our lives, man. All right, so let's run it. Whatever you got, bring it out. Now, this is um, an article for, uh, from the rtnews.com. Yep. Yep. Now, this is what Biden says. He said, Biden asks American to choose between freedom and democracy. Mm -hmm. You know, now, when you think about it, man, there, there is no freedom. Right. When you think about it, you choose freedom between democracy. What, what, what are they doing right now in, uh, in, in, in the outside uh, of, of, of this country? Mm -hmm. Force democracy down people's throat mm -hmm. and telling the people that if you don't leave, by the way, and hard to leave, mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop a bomb, bomb on you. Mm -hmm. So you ain't got no choice. Mm -hmm. But of course, you got people that are gonna eat, eat this up and say, yeah, the one that's in the, on the White House side of Biden, like, yeah, he's white. We should choose freedom, you know? But there's no freedom. <laughs> then, you know, they, and democracy is basically uh, another term for uh, um, um, Hellenists, you know? Yep. That's what. That's a good point. You know, and yep. that's what Alexander was doing. I like that. He was, he was, he was Hellenizing the whole entire world and trying to force them under, one, under, the, under his umbrella. Yeah. And that's what America is doing right now. They're doing it in the term of democracy, right. you know? And yet, Biden talk about, oh, choose between freedom and democracy. Yep. And I, just, I just want to bring that point out, you know? Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. No, the, democracy, uh, what, is, what is that scripture that says, um, that the nations have drunk of the wine? That's right. Yeah. 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 It's uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7. Yeah. And it reads, it says, Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand yeah. and that made all the earth drunk. Right, so if you think about that, right? Think of the context of the, uh, of the analogy here. A golden cup, when you look at that, you look at it like, oh, wow, look at that, look at that cup that guy got, right? So it's, it's, it's mesmerizing. It, it amazes you, right? Keep going. Mm -hmm. It says that made all the earth drunken. Mm -hmm. It says the nation had drunk of a wine, and therefore the nations are mad. Right, so the nations, they were allured by that golden cup, right? They were fascinated by that golden cup, and so they tried to take part in it. And when you hear about, when you hear about um, America's inception, right, um, a, lot of, a lot of countries... Uh, took on that dollar kind of like uh, in support of America's new this new growth, right? And so they they, they took part in it, right? They drank of, of that cup and now they, they drink of it and they realize oh shit They had us in a trick bag and what happened? Uh, now all these nations are, are, are angry and mad and they want their, their revenge, you know uh, with the scriptures also say uh, uh, they, they that were confederate with thee, yep. have, uh, yep. uh, brought thee even to the border. Yep. Was that Obadiah? Yep. Hit me with that real quick. Yep. Um, uh, Obadiah 1 verse, uh, I saw that 6. Yep. How are the things of Esau searched out? Yep. Yep. How are his hidden things sought up? Right, his, 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 they're searched out and sought up by the men of the Lord, right? The Heavenly Father gave us the, 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 the ability to go into these things and look at these things and see exactly who Esau is and exactly who, were, who was being talked about when the scriptures were being read, right? Keep going. Verse 7, mm -hmm. all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee to, uh, brought thee even to the border. Right, so all the people that were with America in the beginning have brought thee to the border, right? And so what's going to happen is now all of those, uh, what's that, uh, what's that, <coughs> Jeremiah 50 or 14? All ye that bend the boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hit, me, hit me with that. Jump up a little bit too. Maybe it's like 15 and 12. Uh, yep. Um, I saw 12. Yeah. Jeremiah 50 and 12. It's, yeah. It reads, Your mother shall be so confounded. Yep. She that bear you shall be ashamed. Yep. And behold, the, the hithermost of the nation right. shall be a wilderness, right. a dry land, and a desert. Right. right. The, 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 the hindermost of the nation shall be dry, right? That's, this goes along with Isaiah the 34th chapter, right? Mm -hmm. That how this would be a, a desert and how it, be, it would be a, a place for a, a doleful creatures, yep. right? Revelation 18. Yeah, and Revelation 18, yep. keep going in that. Yep. And it says, 
It says, because of the wrath of the Lord, it shall not be inhabited, yep. but it shall it shall be a holy desolate. It should be wholly desolated, yep. and everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished yep. and hiss at all her plagues. Yep, and hiss at all her plagues. Mm -hmm. And that's that's what's coming here. It's not talking about the ancient Babylon. It's talking about this modern day Babylon that is being called the uh, 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 the daughter of the Chaldees, right? It's talking about this modern day Babylon that is uh, now in rulership and in power. That or that that uh, that woman that sitteth on the beast, right? Keep going. Mm -hmm. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon yep. round about. Yep. All ye that bend the bow. Right. All ye that bend the bow. Mm -hmm. ahead, shoot at her. Shoot at her. And right? Spare no arrows. And spare no arrows. So everyone that was once in confederate, uh, or, or let me say it this way, who was once confederate with America, they're all going to shoot on her. They're going to turn on her. And this is when you when you go to Revelation 18, when it says, alas, alas. As that great city Babylon mm -hmm. uh, uh, been taken down in one hour, right? So this this is this is what's coming here. So like, like the elder said when he started, we have to talk about this. Mm -hmm. What else is there to talk about? Our, our, our salvation, like let me I'll give you a perfect example, right? When you read the book of Judges, right? Our deliverance was synonymous with our our deliverance was synonymous with the taking down of the, the power that we were under. Right when you had uh, when you had uh, Ehud go in there and shoot the dart at Eglon, right? As as Eglon was taken down, what happened? The children of Israel were free, and they lived underneath uh, Ehud as, as their judge, right? So our our deliverance is directly connected to the the destruction of the the captivity that we're under, right? Right. So as this uh, go, let's go to um, uh, Second Ezra six and seven. You got you. Second Ezra six and seven. Second Ezra. Yeah, I got that real quick too. Yep. This is a out one and six. As you mentioned that, um, he said when they therefore yeah. come together, yeah. they yeah. ask yeah. him, saying, "Lord, will thou at this time restore yeah. again the kingdom to Israel?" Right. So that was the sentiment those years ago. It was like, "Look, are you are you? Is this the time? Is this the time?" But what did Paul say? Paul said said this. He said, uh, "Um." That don't let's go to that. What's that? Uh, I think it's Second Thessalonians where it says um, the uh, there must be a falling away first. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Pull that up for me, because yeah. because I want to I want to speak about this for a second. Go ahead, go ahead with that. Uh, Second Thessalonians two verse three. You, you can you can start at the top. Okay, you can start on. at the top. Uh, Second Thessalonians two and one. Yep. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, yep. and by our gathering together unto Him, yep. that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or yep. be troubled, right. neither by spirit nor by word yep. nor by letter, yep. as from us. Yep. As the day of the anointing right, is at hand. Right, so that, that's what their sentiment was. Like, man, this got to be the time. The Lord Yahweh Shai, he's, he's been hung on the cross. He's been risen again. So are you, are you going now restore the kingdom unto us? But what did Paul say? Paul said that um, that it's not going to happen yet. There had to be a falling away first. And that son of perdition had to be revealed, right? So salvation is always synonymous with the taking down of the power we're under, man. We can't say that we're free if the power that we were under or we were in captivity under is still in existence. They have it's synonymous. So, as the elder said when he started, we have to talk about it. This is this is about our salvation. I don't want to. I don't want to. Imagine a world, right, where the Lord Yahweh Shai dies, right, so that He can reconcile the children of Israel back to the Father. But then we have to remain in captivity and somehow love them. Like, and be oh, in, like, in confederation with them, them. And, 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 and be with them. It, it, this, it doesn't make any sense. When you when when a judge delivers the people from underneath the hand of the power, the power has to be destroyed. You got something? Okay. This is uh, Second Ezra chapter 4, verse 28. It says, But as concerning the things whereof thou ask me, and I will tell thee, yep. for the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet right, come. Right, the evil is sown, mm -hmm. right? So they're doing their job. They're doing with this. What, what's, where are you, was you reading? Second Ezra 4, chapter 4. So the evil, the evil is sown, right? They're doing the things that they're supposed to be doing, right? They're, they're, they're making a ruckus in the world. When you go to, uh, when you go to uh, 1 Maccabees 1, I think it's, 
Is it seven? Six or seven. Where it said, I think it's nine. One and nine, where it says great evils were multiplied. I think it's one and nine. Keep reading on that. And it says, yeah, well, it verse, is. Verse is it nine? Yeah, yeah. Let me, go ahead. Keep reading that for one second. Verse, verse 29. Yep. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, yeah. and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, yeah. then cannot it come that is sown with good. Right, right. That's a, that's a perfect scripture. Then there's another one in Isaiah where it says, Surely your turning of things upside down it's shall be as clean as the potter's clay. clay. Right? So the, the thing that we're underneath has to be destroyed in order for us to be free. They're synonymous. The, the bringing down of the kingdom of Edom is synonymous with the raising up of the kingdom of Israel or the kingdom of heaven, as it were. Got something real yep, quick? Yep. Uh, Luke 1 and 68. Uh, Blessed be the Lord, power of Israel, yep. for he hath visited and redeemed his people. And raised up, and have raised up a horn of salvation for us yep. in the house of his servant David, right. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Right. Now, which, now the horn of salvation we know is talking about the Lord Yahweh Shai. He's the horn of salvation. When you when you go to when you see horn in the scriptures, that is a, a, a parabolic for power. He is the power of our salvation. Right? Keep going with that. Please yep. start over again and, and, and read again. Come. On. Um, Verse 69, and have raised up an horn of salvation for yep, us yep. in the house of his servant David, yep. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Right. You which know, so when, now when you see the word house, the house of his servant David meaning a descendant of David, right? When you go to what's that, Romans, I think it's 1 and 3, where it says he was declared the, the son of David according to the flesh and the son of the Most High according to the spirit, right? Mm -hmm. So this is this is the man that we're talking So now we know who we're talking about, right? Talking about the Lord Yahweh Shai, keep going. Uh, which have been since the world began. Yep. That we should be saved from our enemies mm -hmm. and from the hand of all that hate us. Right, so we shall be saved from our enemies and the hand that of all that hate us, right? You can go to Psalms 83 to find out what those hands look like or, or what those hands call themselves, right? But let's go to... Um, one and nine. Yep, go there and then, then we'll go to... Uh, no, 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 no. He says, um, okay, now, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna start with seven. He mm -hmm. said, So Alexander went 12 years and oh, then died. On uh, the first back, he wanted seven to nine. Yep. So Alexander went 12 years and then died. Yep. And he served bear who were everyone in his place. Right, so so when Alexander reigned, right, what, like the scripture his brother read, that, that, that evil was being sown, right? So Alexander, when he came into his full culmination of power, he at the time is. Shit, I would argue to this day, no, no, no ruler or king has ever taken over as world power as quickly and as and yep. as uh, matter of factly as he did. Yep. He, that, yep. That's why he was known as a leopard, as the elder said, right? So, it the, the evil was being sown. Keep going. It says, um, and after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. Yep. So did their sons after them many years. Yep. And evil were multiplied right. in the earth. And evils were multiplied in the earth. So the scripture said that evil was being sown. You still got that? Con. Read that again for me. This is Second Ezra, chapter four, verse twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, "But as concerning the things whereof thou asked me, and I will tell thee, yeah. for, the, this, for the, this, the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is right. not yet so come." So the evil is sown. It was being sown in those times. But their destruction is not yet come. Go to uh, Habakkuk, uh, the second chapter, uh, where it says, uh, "At the end it shall speak." Not lie, All right? right? Yep. yep. Uh, Habakkuk two verse. Um, I'll start at verse two. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Lord answered me and said, "Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that reader." For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, so the vision is for an appointed time, right? So we're, we're finding out that evil was being sown, right? We're finding out that that evil would eventually have to be destroyed, right? We know that he's the son of perdition. We know who's the horn of salvation that's going to do the destruction, right? And now, keep going. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Now but we're going to find out time. when it's going to happen, right? The vision is yet... For an appointed time, right? Keep going. But at the end, it shall speak but and not lie. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. So in these last days, that's when all of these things are going to happen, right? In the end, keep going. Uh, though it tarry, wait for it, right? Because it will surely so come. So it might, it might be taking a while, right? You, you had again, uh, two thousand some odd years ago, those men once the Lord Yahweh Shai died and was risen again, they were asking him, "Are you going to now? Is this, is this our time? Is 
is this it? Can we finally get up underneath the, the thumb of, of, of Esau? But it wasn't time yet. But it said, at the end it shall speak and not lie. So it seems like it's taking a long time. Though, it's, though it tarries, wait for it. Right? For it will not tarry. Right? So this is, we have to talk about these things. This is, our salvation is at hand. What, what is that? Rome, give me Romans 13. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mark 13 and 7. Yep. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. Yeah, I had that held up. I had the one in Matthew 24 because you, you, you started off by saying that things are getting hot. Now, if you think this Israel Iran thing is a small thing, it's not. It's a part of prophecy. It's a, it's a major part of prophecy, right? So it said we were here of what? Wars and rumors of wars, yep. be ye not troubled, yep. for such things must needs be, yep. but the end is not yet. Right, for, for things must needs be, but the end is not yet, right? So we, we gotta we gotta wait for these things to, to, to culminate, right? To permeate. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta we gotta wait for these things, man. Because it's really it's not it's not our show, right? We gotta understand that. It's the show of the Heavenly Father. This is his uh uh, theatrics, if you will. That's where the word theatric comes from the word theo, which means, or that which means God, right? So these are his theatrics. So we got to wait for them to play out and just be patient, right? We got we to gotta, we gotta tap into that patience that the Heavenly Father has, has given us and wait for his, because his, his, who can do it better than the Heavenly Father? You look at the salvation that happened when we came out of Egypt, how, how, how magnificent it was, right? It'll tell you in the scriptures, it said, they didn't go by the way of the Philistines because it would have been, e been an easy way. What did they do? They went through the wilderness, right? They went through that valley. Then they crossed over the, uh, the Red Sea. Both, both sides of the, the Red Sea lifted up and we walked over. That's, that, was, that was magnificent, right? The, the scriptures will tell you, uh, what is it, uh, Jeremiah 16, that this, this salvation is going to take precedent over that one. So this one is going to be even more magnificent. So who can do it better than the Heavenly Father, man? Who can do it better? Uh, you know? Some even said this, that they should be even amazed at the strangeness of their salvation. Right. And they, they can be like, uh, how did a number um, amongst, um, amongst yep. the righteous? Yep. So like, uh, yep. No, no, no. That's what I'm trying to do, brother. Right? So this, this salvation is going to take precedent over the old one. The old one was magnificent. We know about it. They made movies about it, right? We read the, we read the scriptures about it. You imagine that, man. When you when you get to the you, you're going through the the valley, right? And then you come to the water, and you're looking at Moses like, damn, where we gonna go now? We trapped. And then the next thing you know, the, the Moses gets the, the command to put that staff in the water, and the water start raising. You imagine the people say, oh, man, oh, the water's coming up on both sides, and they and then you know you now Moses saying, look, we gotta walk. And then they, you know, they do like this. They're looking at the water on both sides. Like, oh, shit. Just think about that, man. Think about that. It was looking at the water. like, I'm yeah. not going through because it's going to come down on me. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, then, they, you know, you get on the good foot. Then you, you yeah. got to go. You're trying to get to the other side before the water's come down. What's the, what's the difference between this, between that and this one? we are going to disappear. Oh, yeah. It's going to yeah. disappear. Yeah. Because at least they saw us going through. Yeah. They saw us. They chased us. And now there's not going to be any chasing the ball. Yeah. We're going to be yeah. disappeared. One yeah. taken, the other one left. Yeah. That's what's going to be so magnificent about this deliverance is that we're going to disappear right before your very eyes, man. And if I'm at with you, too, and you, just like you meant the headline news back in ancient time, when, 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 the, when the part of the West Sea was taught throughout the whole entire world, and by fear, Although mm -hmm. the part of the most high, yeah. like, yo, he's an Israelite, you wouldn't want to go across the West Sea, you gotta yeah, be yeah. careful. What did, uh, what's, uh, Rahab said that? <laughs> he said, look, she look, look, we heard, we heard, we heard. I know I live in the walls of the city, we don't, we don't heard about what happened with y'all, how y'all came up out of Egypt, right? So, so, so that just goes to show, you wanted to say something? Yeah. No, I was just going to say, uh, that was really the first aquarium. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking that's through the sea seal, and now he saw yeah, tries yeah, to make yeah, his own yeah, buildings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you get, you get, you get this. Uh, you see how how uh, magnificent the deliverance was, and the Lord said that this one is going to take precedent over that. Yeah. So you, 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 you should want to see that. Yeah. You should want to be able to see the the scriptures say that. Uh, what is it? Uh, happy shall he be that see the fall of his enemy? You should want to see that.
Now we don't have any enemies anymore. We have enemies. We have enemies, and our enemies are the enemies of the Heavenly Father. It, it says, it says that if you touch the apple of the Lord's eye, then you're in danger, man. Right? Let's go to let's go to uh, what you got? A couple of old one, Jeremiah. What, what, was, what was Jeremiah? No longer said that the Lord living. Yeah, yeah. Go go there first. Mm -hmm. We're talking about it. Come. It's uh, Jeremiah 16 and 14. Yep. And it reads. It says, therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it, it shall no more be said that the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but that the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, right. and from all the lands whither he has driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave I've, I've, I've heard this scripture. So, so like, no, no, you got nothing like I've heard this scripture uh, a dozen some odd times, right? And... You, you, it gets clearer and clearer what it's talking about every time. What, 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 I, the land of the north and the lands where I, I had driven it. What's that talking about? Right? So we gotta, we, we're going to be delivered, man. And it's going to be magnificent. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Isaiah 11 and 11. Mm -hmm. It says, And it shall come to yeah. pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time yep. to recover the remnant of his people. That's right. So the second time, meaning... Yeah, we were delivered once, and now we're going to be delivered again. Right, but all of that, the Lord is clearly telling you to recover the remnant of his people. So anybody outside of Israel is not going to be a part of this thing, right? That's right. right. To recover the remnant of his people. That's right. So it's no, there's no slipping and sliding somebody in there trying to sneak somebody in. No. If you're an Israelite, it's going to be known that you're an Israelite, and that's it. If you're a heathen, or the other nations, at the end of this thing, the Lord's not dealing with you. Not bring you through the fire, so you can just catch a ride for free and get it on the other side. Oh, oh, no. That ain't happening, man. Right, right. No, no, go ahead, bro. It says. Uh which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Kush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. That's right. And he shall set up an ensign yep. for the nations yep. and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel yep. and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Yeah, so it's quite clear, man. And so this is what we're, this is what we're, we're, we're waiting for. These are our desires for us to be delivered by the horn of our salvation, right? Speaking of desire, right? Mm -hmm. This is um, Sawak chapter 25, um, verse 7. And he says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy, and a tenth I will order with my tongue. Yep. And men that have joy of his children, yep. and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. Right, he that liveth to see the fall of his enemies. So we have enemies, right? Mm -hmm. And we live we live to see the fall of our enemy yep. right yep. You got something yep. psalms 91 i've started to talk mm -hmm. he that dwells in the secret place of the most high yep. shall abide under the shadow of the almighty right i will say to the i will say of the lord he is my refuge my fortress my power and him will i trust yep. surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler okay. and from the noisome pestilence okay. he shall cover thee with his with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. Yep. His truth shall be thy shield yep. and buckler. Yep. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terrors by night, right. nor for the arrows that fly by day. Right, because what are those arrows? We, we read it. What did we read there? Uh, all ye that bend the boat, mm -hmm. shoot, shoot, shoot at her. Yep. Right? So it said we're not going to fear those arrows. Right, keep going. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, mm -hmm. nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Yep. A thousand shall fall at thy side, yep. and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh near thee. Only with thy eyes shall thou behold yeah. and see the reward of the wicked, yeah, yeah. because thou hast made the Lord, which is thy refuge, even the most high thy habitation. That's right. So we, we're, we're making the Lord our refuge and habitation in hopes that we only see it with our eyes. We're going to be up in them chariots. We're going to be up in the chariots. Looking down, it's oh shit, man. They got, got a bad, they got a, a bad hit down there. You know? Yeah. Let me finish, yeah. Let me go a little more. Yep. Yeah. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall thou any plague come nigh near thy dwelling. Yeah. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all his way, all thy all thy ways. Yeah. They and just like just like when we were delivered out of uh out of Egypt, right? We had we had that pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night to lead us through the way. Mm -hmm. Right? 
and, and, and they lost us too real quick. They lost us too. After they walked across the West Sea, we witnessed the former enemy. Mm -hmm. When Moses closed the, the, I mean, the power of the Moses side, yeah, yeah. two Moses closed the West Sea yeah. and drowned all of the followers yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny. It's <laughs> so, funny. If you if you if you're like into if you're into like uh, what they call it like uh, theology and things like that, they they'll show you that there's still chariot wheels down in, in, in the Red Sea, uh, uh, horse skeletons of horses down in there. So so that that thing happened, man. That thing happened, right? If you if you needed if you needed some extra proof, right? And of course, Esau throughout the years went down there and tried to clean shit up. To make it seem like these things are just fairy tales. Yeah, but but yeah, but, but, but what's, what's even what's even um, what's even more, the pillar that Solomon set up, right, as the site that the children of Israel crossed the Red Sea, that's still there. Even that big ship the on the Noah's boat they found in uh, in, in, uh, in a mountain. <laughs> Funny because this is a guy I watch all the time. He uh, he said uh, the city that uh, that uh, is at the bottom of the, the mountain where the ark landed, and their tongue is, is called the, the the city of, of the eight. So the so the, the, the so let me let me give you a, a visual reference. So let's say the, the the ship landed. Let's say up there on uh, where the state house is. The city that is, is here in reference, they call it the city of the eight. I don't know what the, the tongue is. I can't remember the language, but it's called the city of the eight. And who and who, how many people were on that ark? Eight people. So, right. So those things happen, man. Those things happen. Now, now we didn't we didn't necessarily need uh, the the archaeological evidence, right? But if it's there and it's available, we take it, man. And just to just to show you that these things in the scriptures are true. So if that's true. Right? If we had Noah being delivered from the flood, if we had the children of Israel being delivered from Egypt, then we got to believe that the Lord is going to deliver us here too. Mm -hmm. this, Revelation 12 and 16. Yep. And the earth helped the woman. Yeah, yeah. And the earth opened her mouth yeah. and swallowed up the flood which the dragon right, cast right, out so of that, his yeah, mouth. That's how the apostles used to break that down for us. That, you know, the earth helped the woman because all of these different facts and things that were, you know, that you can find or, or the archaeological facts that you can find. You know, and, it's, and it still happens to this day. Oh, wasn't there a scribe that was from Pharaoh's army going down at the templates? I remember seeing that a while back. They confirmed that the templates of Egypt is real. Yeah, That's yeah, you might, you might be right, bro. You might be right. I, I just never myself um, seen it. I had it a long time. Um, but the point is, the point is this: that we're going to be delivered out of here. That's right. And we're in, and in, in that deliverance, there's going to be a destruction that's happening. You got that, uh, Isaiah? Yeah, you're right there. This is Isaiah 63. Oh, I'm saying that same thing. This is Isaiah 63 and 1, and it reads It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? It says, This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Right, mighty to save, right? So he's the horn of our salvation. So he's, he was coming from Edom, right? And the way it reads, it sounds like he was putting in some work from where he came from, mm -hmm. right? This, right? Keep going. Uh huh. It says, "Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel?" Yeah, well, hey man, what was you doing? Why you? Why your garment look like that? Why you? Why is your garment all red? Right? Keep going. Uh huh. It says, "In thy garments, like him that treaded in the wine fat." Yep. I had trodden the wine press alone, yep. and of the people there was none with me. Yep. For I had treaded them in my anger yep. and trampled them in my fury, yep. and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, yep. and I will stain all my raiment. Yep. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, right. and the year of my redeem is come. Right. So we, we can't we can't say that 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 doesn't mean something to the Lord Yahweh Shai, because it said the day of vengeance burns in his heart. Right. Keep going. Mm -hmm. It says, and I looked, and there was none to help, and I wonder that there was none to uphold. Yep. It says, therefore my own arm brought salvation unto me, yep. and my fury, it upheld me. That's right. And I would tread. Your, your, mm -hmm. your, your fury your fury upheld you. It means that you're so mad. Even if you get tired. When you're mad, you get tired. You don't even feel it. Right. You're just, you just mad. You know, it's, it said his fury upheld him. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. Yeah. It says, 
of verse six, it says, I would tread, I would tread the people in my anger and make them drunk in my fury, yep. and I will bring down their strength. It says, I will bring down their strength to the earth. Right. So this is what this what has this is what has to happen. As we get delivered, somebody has to be destroyed. And it just so happens that it's the people who has us in captivity that have to be destroyed. Oh, right. This right. this this whole world that we live in today, we can call it the kingdom of Eden. Right? Or, or as much of it as they can, right? They have all the power. Because they, can, they control what? Right? They control trade routes, right? So they're in power of the whole world. You can call this the kingdom of Eden. Now, they wouldn't call it that, of course. But you can call this the kingdom of Eden. So their destruction is synonymous with our upliftment, with our deliverance. You got some? Yeah. Uh, quick mm -hmm. Proverbs 16 and 5. Yep. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Yep. Though hand joined in hand, he shall not be unpunished. Right. So we can't we can't say, well, maybe we can mount up with him and, and, and teach him and, and join hand in hand. No, they, they gotta be destroyed. It is synonymous with our salvation. If, if unless you, you feel like you're content with being here, then you want to get the word. You just get the word. That's all you just listen to. <laughs> you know, so he, uh, so it, so their 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 destruction is necessary. That's right, all right. It, it's it's we can't we can't have one without the other. We can't have our salvation without their destruction. It has to happen. This is this is captivity. Right, and this is why we wait upon the Lord. We ain't gotta be about that life. We ain't about we ain't about that life. This is why we wait upon the Lord. That's right. And when the Lord sets us shit in order, we're going to do things that we didn't think that we could do. Unimaginable. You know, I'll never yeah. forget it. Elder Foster Hall has said, Elder Foster Hall has said a while, years ago, he said, when that time comes, you know, you know, when the Lord put the spirit on us, we're going to be, you know, doing, you know, going through, treading down. Maybe there, maybe there, you know, a tear coming down and you're like, damn, you know? But again, we're going to have the spirit of the Lord upon us and the fury and the anger of the Lord is going to be upon us. Right? So we're going to be about it when that time comes, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Zephaniah 3 verse 8 Therefore wait ye upon me, said right. the Lord right. Until the day that I rise up to the prey right. For my determination is to gather the nation Right, and, that, and that's, that, that's, there's a whole lot being said here So we are waiting upon the Lord We're not trying to gather up the Israelites all in America To get together to take Esau and throw Esau down We ain't trying to do that We're waiting upon the Lord, alright But he's also what? Starting to gather the nations right now to bring them over to that valley because this third world's war is now starting to cook man the pot's on simon now it's starting to get hot around here and a lot of you non-believers you think that this thing's just going to blow over without without having some consequence no this is the vengeance of the lord starting right here man go ahead uh, for my determination is to gather the nations mm -hmm. that i may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, That's right. even all my fierce anger, right. for all the earth shall be devoured with my fire, with right. the fire of my jealousy. Right, so at the end of the day, they're all going to destroy each other with them thermonuclear missiles that the Lord gave them the ability to create, man. That's how this is going to go down. That's how this is all going to unfold. By the, the, by the, the hand and destruction of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. You go ahead, somebody get me um, 2nd Ezra 16, it started about 12, go ahead. This is Isaiah 13 and 4. Go ahead. The noise of the multitude in the mountains, mm -hmm. like as of a great people, mm -hmm. a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations yep. gathered together. Right, and, and, and that noise is starting to be heard throughout the whole world right now. This whole thing with Israel and Iran is that we have always been taught to us, and now that we understand it, the least of the flock is gonna draw them out. We've been saying this through, through the teachings of our apostles and elders. We've been saying this for years, man. And now it's starting to unfold. So if this, at this time period, if you're preaching and talking anything other than what's being done out there, according to the scriptures and the prophecies, you ain't got no business, man. Right. Go ahead. It says, the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shai of hosts mustered the host of the battle. Yep. They come from a far country, yep. from the ends of heavens, even the Lord, Yahweh, and the weapons of his indignation. And that's them thermonuclear missiles, all right? They're gonna come from all different angles. And there's no missile defense system over here that's gonna stop those missiles from hitting this place. You may be deceived by what Esau tells you because Esau is the great deceiver anyway. He's gonna tell you they got it under control. Well, they don't have it under control. 
this place is going to fall by the thermonuclear missile. Right. And this is why when John the Revelator saw the lake of fire, he was actually looking at this place, man, right. when he saw this place burning with the smoke. This is the place, man, that's going to be on fire. Go ahead. It says, even the Lord Yahweh and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. You see that? His weapons of his indignation is what? Thermonuclear missiles, man. That's the beauty about what, what we're doing out here. To prophesy about those thermonuclear missiles that are going to fly by day and drop down upon all Idumia. Modern day, modern day Babylon. That's what's going to happen out here. Go ahead. Any more on that? Come on, one more. It says, How ye for the day of the Lord, Yahweh is at hand, mm -hmm. it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. There's no stopping it, man. This thing, now the ball is starting to roll. You know when you got a ball and, it, and you, you know, when kids play soccer, the ball is just sitting there, right? And all of a sudden they give that little push, and now the ball is rolling. Right. And they start pushing it a little more, and now they got a little trot going, and they're kicking a little more. That's what's happening right now. The Lord has started this thing rolling with that Israel and Iran thing. We've always talked about Israel and Iran. We've always talked about that. You said a slot show. Yeah. We've always talked about that. Now that ball is being kicked, and it's going to start gaining steam. It's going to start gaining some momentum. And before you know it, all these other countries are going to get involved, and, and there you have it, man. So Lord willing, we just about out of here, man. Though a lot of the prophecies still gotta take place, even though the things are speeding up, these prophecies are gonna speed up as well. There's nothing that's gonna be void in the prophecies that the Lord's had set forth, man. Everything's gonna be fulfilled. It may be fulfilled at a faster pace now, because things are speeding up, but they're gonna be fulfilled. As the Lord said, my word will never go out void. All right? Go ahead. I got an article from um, endtimeheadlines.org. And it reads, uh, the heading reads, Moscow warns that aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan from America will exacerbate global crisis. Right, and this is gonna and this is going to exacerbate things because the Lord is gonna put a hard heart on these kings, Joe Biden or Donald Trump, whoever's in office, he's gonna harden their hearts and do exactly what people don't want them to do. But the Lord's gonna harden that heart. The Lord's gonna put the spirit in them to do certain things so every, all these nations can raise up like, yo, what are they doing over there? Why are they doing that? Now we gotta retaliate. Go ahead. Stack up. Proverbs twenty one and one. Yep. The king's heart is in the hand of the is in the hand of the Lord. Yep. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whether whether soever he will. Right. So just when you think that they're gonna do the right thing, the Lord's gonna put this the spirit on them to do whatever He wants them to do. You know that's why the scripture give me Proverbs twenty and twenty four. That's why the Lord said this. <laughs> Proverbs. Go ahead. Uh, Proverbs twenty and uh, twenty four. Mm -hmm. The man's goings are of the Lord. Yep. How can a man that understand his own way? Right, so they're gonna they're gonna think to say, we're not gonna do certain things, we're not gonna do this. We we understand that by doing XYZ will be catastrophic to the to, to nations. But the Lord's gonna put it in their heart to do it. Pharaoh didn't Pharaoh wanted to let Israel go, right? Pharaoh wanted to let him go, but the Lord hardened his heart. That's right. So at the same time, Pharaoh's like, damn, I, uh, I'm gonna let him go, but nah, nah, I'm not gonna let him go. Because the Lord put his spirit on him to harden his heart. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 4 The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord That's right And in due time he will set over it one that is profitable And, and, and all praise be to y'all watch y'all shine Because this is what we like man This is what we like to see This is what gives us comfort in spirit This is why the scriptures are known as the comforters We of the hopeful elect We get comforted by the uproars that are now starting to take place by the nations coming together and fighting and battling and warring and shooting rockets at each other. This is this is comforting unto us. You know? And, and at the at the same time, people are saying, well, it, it's gonna it's gonna put a a, a, a a spike in the prices of, of food and you know they're not gonna be able to get through certain canals and channels because of the war. So be it, man. Right. So be it. Right. Happy right. shall we be. Go ahead. Food is already inexpensive. That's right. You can't, you can't even get a bag of chips for a really good man. You remember they had the chips? So I was always for the years as a kid, I was always a big fan of those little uh little Debbie Nutty Buddies. I was always a big fan of those, right? And it was twenty it was a two pack for twenty-five cents. So I'm I'm going through this store called Coming to Farms, I'm going through this looking around and I looked. They, that shit was two twenty five. I couldn't believe it. Two twenty five for a two pack of little fucking wafers. Yes, two twenty five. I said to myself, this is out of control. But on the on the rack, if you look over at the count, you can see the rack. 
You can buy a box for two fifty. A box of twelve. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is crazy. That's why this place gotta go. There's nothing that's confusion at its finest, man. That's why Babylon gotta go. And that's why the Lord we why do y'all must be all shy? Getting, you know, for giving us this little taste of what's about to go, to, what's about to go down, man. Right. All right, hold on one second. You got something? Cut. Cut. Um, this is Revelation 17. I start 16. Cut. It says, "In the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, mm -hmm. these shall hate the whore and make her desolated mm -hmm. and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right. For the Lord Yahweh have put it in their hearts." To, to fulfill his will. See that? And for, to, the Lord, mm -hmm. no, no. for the Lord has put it in their hearts. So right when they think they're going to do something different, the Lord's going to put what he wants in their hearts mm -hmm. for them to fulfill his will. Mm -hmm. It's not about control what they want. We wouldn't do something like that. We're going to have a, a, a nuclear war reduction. We're going to, that's bullshit. Go ahead. This is uh, Exodus 7 and 14. Yep. It says, And the Lord said unto Moses, yep. Pharaoh's heart is hardened. That's right. He refuses to let the people go. Get thee unto get thee unto Pharaoh in the morning. Lo, he goeth out unto the water, and thou shalt stand by the river's brink against against he come, and the rod which was turned to a serpent shalt thou take in thine hand. So you're basically saying this. Right, right, right. This is all right. No, I, I mean, the point, the, point. Right, the point was again the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he's going to do likewise with these kings of the earth. He's going to harden their hearts. And this is why when you read the book of Obadiah, it speaks about the, the, those that were confederate with thee have, have turned against thee. These are those very same kings of the earth. The Lord's going to turn them against this place. Because at the end of the day, ultimately, this place needs and will be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Can I can I Come, go ahead. One more. This is uh, Romans 9 and 17. It's, you got it? Go ahead. You got it. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Romans 9 and 17. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. Right, and hold it right there. Even for the same purpose has the Lord raised him up. Look at what's going on, man. These kings are in that same state. The Lord has raised up all these kings. They, they know full well the implications of this kind of war. Right. But they're still gonna go forward with it. They're still gonna go forward yeah. with it. Yeah. All right, and they're still gonna get they're gonna grab their alliances, they're gonna gain size. And they're going to put the, the Lord's going to put his spirit on them ultimately for all of them to turn against this place. That's why the scripture says, Those that were confederate with thee have deceived thee and even brought you to the border. These nations are going to turn on America like a rabid dog. Let's go ahead. That I might show my power in thee mm -hmm. and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Right. And when, give me Revelation 18, right? And jump down to where it says, They, they, they cast dust upon their heads. Because they seen the smoke of her burning. Mm. You know, cut, cut, read on. Yep. This is uh, Daniel 4 and 17. It's, you got that? Oh, okay. It says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy Ghost. Right. Again, also, the watchers, the watchmen. This must needs be that the Lord's watchmen be out here blowing that trumpet, man, about the destruction that's coming. How are you supposed to know about destruction if nobody tells you about it? Okay, mm -hmm. it's by the decree of the watchman. Go ahead, the watcher. Yep. Go ahead. And the demand by the word of the holy ones, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, mm -hmm. and giveth it to whosoever he will, mm -hmm. and setteth up over it the basis of men. Right. You may you may feel a certain way. People in this world may feel a certain way. They may feel compassion towards the other nations. Oh no, we no, it don't give we don't get that's it. It's not our it's not our plan, man. It's not our it's not our 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 our, 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 um, our will. It's the heavenly father's will. Alright? He's gonna set up over who he wants it to be set up over it for the time. He's given it to Esau. Edom Esau has been given this 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 world, basically. The earth was given unto the hand of the wicked. The earth has been given to him. So therefore the Lord is setting him up to be that hammer of the whole earth pursuant to Jeremiah. He's the hammer of the whole earth. And the Lord has gave him the power to do so. All these Israelites, you look at Israel on the whole, right? We faster, we smarter, we're stronger, we're better, we're anything you can possibly think of, put a put a put a, a jig against the Edomite, man. We're gonna rule, we're gonna come out victorious every time. But why can't that happen on a whole? On a on a on a on a grand on a, a mass scale? Because this isn't what the Lord wants, man. The Lord wants to destroy him at his time yep. and at his will. 
That's why Esau hasn't been gone down. Mm -hmm. You look at Esau, he, they're afraid, man. They take, they, they, they like the, you know, take uh, drug in, 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 uh, inhibitors to yeah, get them steroids because they, they can't win against them. This is what they know. But again, we fall back and we, we put ourselves in this position because we understand that we have to wait for our power to make that move. All right? Go ahead. Hold on. Slot. Did you read No, I'm looking for something else. Okay, come, come. All right, so here we go. Give me. Yep, that's that's fine. Give me give me second Ezra 16. Start at 12. Okay. Called Revelation uh, 18. Yep. yep. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think. Revelation 18. Right, right, right. That's those kings of the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give me, give me Revelation. Give me Revelation. Go ahead. Give me what you got. Then we'll jump down to uh, second Ezra. Yep. He's um, Revelation chapter 18 verse 19. Yep. And they cast dust on their head mm -hmm. and cry weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city where in the world made wish all that has ships in the sea by the reason of a costliness. Right. For in one hour is she made dust desolate. Right. And all these things are going to be taking place by these other kings and other uh, merchants of the earth, man. Yep. Because America is going to be no more. And they understand that. And they're going to know that. They already see America circling the drain. Nobody wants to deal with America financially. That's why that's why they're getting together with these BRICS nations to come that's against true, America to, to delete the dollar, man. You think that's just something that in, in America and what they're doing in their media and their press, they're downplaying this thing. They're downplaying it to make it seem like there's no steam or there's no wind behind this. Go ahead. Now, just to back up on what you were saying, because these other nations, they haven't forgotten about the atrocities of those that have done uh, of over not. the international, of like course. The, the Hiroshima and Nagasaki, of course. The, the general of from course. Iran. And that's the, that's why the Lord's gonna put them back in remembrance to, to the wickedness that has been done. That's why the scriptures say, the wickedness right. have reached up into the heavens, man. Yeah. So these nations, they haven't forgotten. But in the meantime, America has been their cash cow. That's why they said they're going to cast dust on their heads and say, at last, at last, that great city when we, where we were made rich, man. Even though America has done all types of atrocities to these other nations, they also benefit. They also became plenteous and rich from America. But at the end of all this thing, these other kings and these other leaders of the world, they're going to watch the smoke of this pitch burning right. from afar off, man. Right. That's and right. they ain't gonna be able, ain't, ain't nobody gonna sit here and be like, we feel bad for America. Nobody's gonna feel bad because America's wicked, man. That's right. That's right. You know, I want, you know, I, I fix cars, right? And in the midst of me fixing cars, you know, I go on, you know, YouTube, get a couple, you know, pointers here and there. And this dude who I watch sometimes, who's over in Europe, you know, I, I you know, do foreign cars too. Over in Europe, he was he had come to America. And he was saying a battery in Europe is like like 70 euros or something like that, which is damn near cheap money. He goes over here, he gotta pay triple. But that's what but that's what America's all about. America's about putting a stronghold on his people and, and breaking them down to their lowest oh, oh, lowest oh. state, man. Yep. You can't you can't win over here in Babylon the Great. You pay taxes. You, you buy you buy a car, right? You pay taxes on the car, and then they send you a bill for excise tax. Yep. Then you gotta pay a road tax to drive the shit on the road. So no matter how you slice it, you are gonna pay for that car continually oh. as far as long as you own it, man. And, uh, Go ahead. Probably ask you for the which means a lot of a lot of people walk walk walk, walk by the hours office. I don't know if you know that sort of video. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and they call the police on the people because they cannot get their money. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to get their their income tax back, mm -hmm. and they were not receiving it. And they all came lining up on the hours building. Right. But again, that's a yeah. miracle. Go ahead. Yeah. This is uh, this is Daniel seven and, and twenty four. It says, and the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings yep. that shall rise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, yep. and he shall subdue three kings, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, yep. and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, yep. and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times in the dividing of times. Right. <laughs> and again, the point being, he shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Yep. We have been worn out, man. You, you Jake, Jake can't get ahead on this bitch. There's no way you're gonna get ahead, man. And even for you Jakes who, who have, who have uh, received your constellation over on this side. Yep, constellation. Yeah, constellation, all the wise, you got twisted up. Who received it on this side, you're going, you're going you look at all these, these famous rappers and shit. I don't want to go too far down that hole, but you know, they've received 
all that they can receive, man. And then they look at the average jigs like we ain't shit, right? We ain't shit. They gonna be right here on the same playing field, man. Friend. If I may have a quick order, even Yahushua said this, it is harder for a wish man to and enter to the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You know, so they, 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 no, they, it is easier for a camera to go through the eye of a needle. needle. I mean, yep. Yeah, yeah, come, 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 come on, you get it, brother. And, and anybody who's familiar with yeah. how a camera goes through that eye, you gotta get the camera to go down on its knees, so to say, and crouch down and go through. You know? But, yeah, but all that being said, man, you ain't going you ain't gonna win over here. And Jake's don't understand that, even that IRS thing. You had niggas flooded out there in front of these IRS offices. <laughs> yep. You had niggas flooding out there, right? And expecting Esau to be fair <laughs> yep. and, 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 and be and be justice. And get, get justice. It ain't gonna happen, man. Who do you think this is? There's gonna be a lot of death and destruction. There's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna fall by the sword because of the, the mindset that they're living in right here in America, man. right here in Babylon. Go ahead, you got a precept? Uh, this is Micah 2 and 10. This is arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, yep. it shall destroy you even when it's all destruction. Right, we've been saying this for years, man. This place is going to destroy you, and it already has been destroying our people. But you keep running to Esau as if he's the, as if he's going to truly help you. He's poisoning you every time. Stay out of the hospital, man. Stay out of the hospital. You don't know what the hell they're doing, man. You go in the hospital, right? And they'll go and they'll take like six vials of blood from you. All they need is they don't even need, they don't need, they, they don't even need that much blood from you. Why are they taking all this blood to run so many tests? Fine, they need to draw blood. Let them draw one little vial. Then you can split that up between yeah, all these tests. All the tests. Yeah. 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 Go ahead, brother. No, they got a uh, Salaki, brother. They got a they got a commercial talking about uh, selling your plasma, mm -hmm. like that CSL plasma right. that they got all around the place, like all like all of that they unnecessary okay. stuff, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. And you wonder why they sit there because they take that blood and they sell it to the elites. They get a hold of because they drink that shit. They use your blood in these rituals, especially Israelite blood. They truly know who you are, and they know what 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 uh what your your background and your lineage is as far as that's concerned. Go ahead. Uh, I was watching something on Twitter. It was uh, Tucker Carlson doing an uh, interview with some dude who was saying he uh, he was doing a sample with his father's blood. Uh -huh. and his, and his, Giving his blood to his father and having his son give him blood. Right, right, right. And he said the blood didn't do nothing to me, but to my father it decreased his, his age by like twenty five percent. Right, like twenty five percent, twenty five years or something like yeah. that. The the growth is our uh, age rate, right. you know. But uh, these devils know, man. Go yeah, ahead. In fact, there was a doctor by the name of Doctor Farai, um, Feta. You know, he 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 give he make a hundred percent patient sick and giving them you know, and they laughed them saying that oh they got cancer. So you could give chemo, chemo, chemotherapy so you could collect more money mm -hmm. from their insurance. Yeah, yeah, you know? again, again. <laughs> yeah. They use Jake as guinea pigs, man. And Jake, you think you're going to the doctor to get help? Right. They just killing you, man, putting all kinds of poison in your ass. You know, give me that in second as a 16. Yep. Yep. You know, you start about 14, you can jump down with this. That's right to the point. You can start at 14. 14? Yeah, come, read that. Uh, uh, this is a second as a 16, verse 14. It says, behold, the plagues are sent and should not return again mm -hmm. until they come upon the earth. Mm -hmm. The fire is kindled mm -hmm. and should not be put out mm -hmm. until it consume the foundation of the earth. Go ahead. It says, like, it, like as an arrow which is shot out of a mighty archer, return not backwards. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. Go ahead. And it says, woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? Go ahead. It says, the beginning of sorrows in great mornings, the beginning of famine, and great death. Point taken. Mm -hmm. the beginning of famines and great death. All right. Even before these thermonuclear missiles get shot over here, there's also going to be a great, massive death over here, man. We don't know. You know the gates of hell, the gates of hell, and all those other, all those other constituents, if you will. Mm -hmm. They've all been saying the very same thing. That you know, this isn't over. There's, there's something that's gonna be worse, and we gotta be prepared. And you know, people gotta know this, that, and the third. So it's just a matter of time, man, before they start dropping people like flies. Now we don't know what it is, but we of the hope of life. This is why we, we make make you know a supplication to the Lord about being protected and being covered, that none of these evils come nigh near us. Because why? There's gonna be a mass death out here. There's gonna be a mass graveyard over here. Oh, you see? Continue on a little bit yeah, more come, on that. Come. Yep. 
And it's um and um verse continue back in 18 it says the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear mm -hmm. and the beginning of evils mm -hmm. what shall i do when these evils shall come now the beginning of wars we've, we've always been hearing about wars and rumors of wars but again the two two of the main players as far as these wars are concerned are going at it now right and now now it's going to draw out it's going to draw out the alliances of each of each nation Whoever's siding with Israel, whoever's siding with Iran, it's going to yep. draw these people. And that's why the scripture says the least of the flock should draw them out, because it was it was Israel that that shot those rockets over at Iran. Go ahead. This is our second Ezra chapter fifteen verse twenty eight. Yep. It says, "Behold, a horrible vision, and the parents thereof from the east." Yep where the nations of the dragons of Arabia yep. shall come out with many chariots, mm -hmm. and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, mm -hmm. that all they which hear them shall fit, may fear and tremble. That's right. See that? All they that hear shall fear and tremble, because the time is coming where these nations are now starting to gear up. They're now starting to put the pieces of the puzzle in the right spots, in the right places, where they're now going to start sending troops here and there. Watch how many troops America's gonna have to send over there, man. Watch how many troops. Now, keep in mind, you still have the conflict between so-called Russia and, and, and um, Ukraine. Billions of dollars of America's money has has funded that. Now, what's gonna have to happen? Now, America's gonna have to back our, uh, um, Israel, right? They, they're trying to give all kinds of smoke. Oh, for Joe Biden and, and Benjamin Netanyahu, they're not really seeing eye to eye. It's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. And, and, and this thing is going down. Naturally, they, 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 um, they have been talking about the draft lately too. Mm -hmm. A lot. They've been, you know, if we got the news, they've been bringing a lot about the, the draft. Yep. There may be a draft. Yep. Yep. You know, and why not the, the command center right there for drafting is empty, but shooting on first a lot, a lot right. of young men to go out there to the, to, to the war. Right. You know, I tell you, at the time, the time you saw really had the nations or the people of America fooled was when them towers came down. Yep. When them towers came down, they couldn't, they, I mean, they couldn't shut the doors over at these recruitment centers. They, yep. These cats was flowing over there. Yep. Yep. I mean, breakneck speed. They was like, damn, we're we'll getting more, they got more troops than they expected. <clears throat> but when those cats got over there and they realized they got bamboozled, now they were stuck. Now they came back home, they can't reintegrate themselves back into regular, so-called regular life. Yep. Now they're killing themselves and killing other people yep. or exposing the government and throwing medals back. PTSD, all that shit, man. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, Revelations 11 and uh, 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe coming quickly. Right. And we in that time with that third woe. We've been in, we've been we've been in World War Three, so we'll say, man. It just hasn't been a hot war. It's been a cold war. Now we're just starting to get hot. Now we're starting to heat up around here. And the, and the beauty of it is, the beauty of it is, for all you scoffers and scorners and non-believers, now what do you got to say? And I must say, man, and you brothers correct me if I'm wrong, but men of Great Millstone have been the only men who have been talking about the least of the flock drawing them out. Yep. The ones who have been talking about Tom. Third World's War, Russia and Iran and all these other nations getting together. Not too many guys out there have been talking about these things. MOTB, not too many people have been talking about yep. prophesying about these things. You know, and throughout time, you've always had different, you know, social media influences. You know, they'll come out and say, I gotta say, the guys from GMS, they were the they they ones that have been pushing it, they was been saying it, and we ain't looking to look to be, you know, glorified about it because it was all done through the Spirit of the Lord. But to know that the things that we were teaching, now people are starting to listen. Now people are starting to realize, oh shit, this shit is really going down. And when they finally implement the MOTB, what are you guys gonna say then, man? He saw he, he, the, the, the Edomites of this world, this kingdom, who aren't even involved with you know any of the things that we do. They're even confessed. To, they even confess that the Bible says that there's a mark of the beast yep. and it's the chip. Yeah, they're, you know? they're, they're bringing out right. a lot more now. Right. Even, yeah. And I'm, I'm, I believe even if Esau himself got on TV and said, we're going to tell you the truth. This is the mark of the beast, the MOT taste the eat. Jack still won't believe it, man. No, no, it's still. Yeah, if, you, if you type it on your Google um, search, you can put 
the RFID is a, and it'll automatically fill in the blank. It's mm -hmm. the MOT yeah, in the yeah, Bible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So it's already yep. there. They, 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 yep. they put it on, 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 on their face. You know? Mm -hmm. There's many movies about it where they show, you know, that the lady cannot, like there was this one, one movie scene, the Arnold Town movie, the lady came and walked into the store, said that, uh, please, give me something to eat. I need something to eat. He said, okay, um, 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 um what, what do you want? He said, oh, here. And she put in her cash. He said, sorry, man, so don't take cash. You have to scan your hair in the skin. You know? I don't know the name of that movie, you know? But 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 she said, if you, if you don't have that um, um that chip, you can't let you purchase anything in the store. You know? Yeah. So they're putting yeah. they out in the movies now. Of course, of course, you know? Go ahead, bro. I got a scripture for you. Uh, tr tr <laughs> Jeremiah 28 and 7. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> I was trying to get it. <laughs> it's it's Jeremiah 28, verse 7. Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right, and, and since you, we've come into this, since we've come into this thing of ours, this is what we've been doing, man. We've been prophesying exactly how Jeremiah has explained it. War, evil, and pestilence against many kings and great nations. This is what, this is what we've been set up to do. We've been set up to do this very same thing. And in the midst of prophesying about these nations, the elder had made reference to it earlier. You can't come into power unless somebody dies or somebody gets destroyed. Two two kings can't sit on the same throne. And this is what some people would like to see. Just, oh, we can all get together. No, there's only going to be one lead nation. It's going to be one head nation. That's Israel. It's going to be the head nation. Everybody else is going to be underneath us. No matter what you believe or what you think in this time period, they're going to be underneath us. And you should want them to be underneath us. Go ahead, brother. Uh, uh, this is Psalms chapter 2. I'll read on down. It, says, it reads, it says, uh, Why do the heathen rage right. and the people imagine a vain thing? Right. And the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, yep. saying, Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in heaven shall laugh, and the Lord hath, shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath, and vex them in his sore displeasure. Right. Yet I have set my king upon my holy hill of Zion, and I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. That's right. And let me say this too. Mm -hmm. The Lord said that he's going he's gonna to laugh at you devils when that time comes. Because right now you think you are the most high. You think that the most high has altogether kept his mouth shut and has no power anymore. Mm -hmm. But he's going to laugh because he got you in derision right now. Because when the Lord finally puts the, drops the bomb on you, then you're going to understand that the Lord liveth that dwell in the kingdom of men. You know? And he's setting up his son also to come down here to smash you people. And it's all in a matter of time. When your house shy gets that green light to come back here, he's gonna crack them claws that we've been prophesying about, and he's gonna do it, man. Just like we've been prophesying about the, the beast of the flock gonna draw them out. Your house shy is gonna come back and crack them claws and take all y'all devils out, man. That's right. All of you, every last one of you. And the Lord and the Heavenly Father is going to be proud to do so. We send the Son back here. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. And it says, um, I'm reading one more time. It says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the, uh, the heathens for thy inheritance, right. and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Right. And that's what we do when we pray to the Lord. Lord, please you know, take these devils down. Let, them, let us try them under our feet. You know, give us the power over these devils. And the Lord's gonna make good on that promise, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we always talk about we always, I don't want to say talk about, but you always think about you know when the Lord gets raised us up to take these devils down, man. Sometimes you be you be this, you're like you get you get so mad just by the shit that you see on a daily basis, man. You get so vexed and you can't really do nothing about it because they got the they got the rule over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? You know, I, you know I am. Did you ever find your car that no. they took from you? Mayor did, and you know who was driving it? Who's that? Harvard Police. Yeah, I'm sure they devils too. 
three HUP 35 coming out of a bank. Right. Hey. Come please, get this. Hey. I, t I turned it in thinking they're going to do something. They pulled it off the road because he was dirty. Right. And guess what? I'm at Rosie's Cove from Eastern. Four L. Now you got to appreciate this. It's a, it's a humor. L Z Z, like lazy. Four Z, lazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. 24. Going back to first none, it says, uh, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, and thou shalt dash them in pieces like the potter's vessels. Right, so therefore, as we as we have spoken about a lot of, all right, as we have spoken about, you know, all right now, as we have spoken about, you know, somebody going down and taking the L or being put to death, the Lord's gonna, the Lord's gonna authorize that. He's gonna authorize that. He's gonna, he's gonna deliver the heathen. Any, that means anybody outside of the nation of Israel, he's gonna deliver the heathen unto us. And we're gonna do as we see fit because we're gonna be the ruling, the ruling class, man. You should, you should, you should want that. That's right. You should wanna be, you know, in that position where the Lord's gonna deliver the heathen unto you. And you're gonna be able to tread them down and do as you will. You have a heathen come over here, go, do this and do that, and do X, Y, and Z. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter six. Verse um, 15 mm -hmm. and 16. He said, And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the wish men, and the chief captain, and the mighty men, and every bondman and every free man hid themselves in the dens mm -hmm. and in the walks of the mountain, mm -hmm. and said to the mountains and walks, Fall on us, mm -hmm. and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Yep. For the, for the, right, right. So, so an uh, uh, understanding. The, the position that they put themselves in right now they're always talking about you know these massive underground you bunkers, know yep. i don't want to call bunkers these massive yep. underground cities yep. that they believe they're going to protect themselves why are they why are they doing that in the first place because they understand and know that the time is going to come when a thermonuclear missile is going to get shot over here so they understand what's happening this is why you, you know <laughs> and, and another thing about esau <coughs> he always liked to tell on himself yep the scriptures speak about he'd make his own tongue to fall apart. Fulfilled by himself. Here you are, you're supposed to be this top notch, <laughs> top secret kind of guy. <laughs> yep. But then you got your local, you know, uh, television networks, you know, coming in with their camera crew. And yep, you know, look, this is the bunker. This is the entrance of the bunker. <laughs> yep. it's right, right, massive. Right. And it's a, you got the gardens over here and the pools and the springs. Yeah, you got all this. I mean, again, you, you, you profess yourselves to be this top secret type of, type of people. But you tell all your business out there for the whole <laughs> world, <laughs> for the whole world to know, man. Exactly, not, not so in the way you want. So they gonna drop bombs right now. <laughs> put the coordinates in and have a bomb come right down, right down your bus your shit. You know. Back you up, um, that's um, you seen uh, they brought out this little TV series called uh, Fallout, right? Mm -hmm. Where you got the underground bunkers, you got yeah. schools down there, you got all types yeah. of shit down yeah. there. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. but but again, you got, you got all kinds of shit down there. But who is it for? It ain't for the average Jake. Right. And then go have Jake down there talking about, yeah, we had a report for school, first day of school. That's for them Edomites down there, man. Yep. That's who that's for. And you got you got some of these so-called rich Jakes out there. I know I seen a video with uh that fat bastard uh, with the tattoos on his fucking body. Um, rapper, was it? Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Yep. He's talking about, yeah, we're going over here, we're going to get this bunker started, we're going to build this oh, and that. Man. You got short money, man. You think you an elite? Just because you got a little more than the average Jake, that don't mean you going hey, that all that shit's gonna come to naught, man. All those rappers gonna come to naught. Go ahead, brother. Uh, just to lay back what you said, that, that Fallout movie is based off the video game. Uh, and you know they talk about you know apocalyptic just, yeah. and there's one scene that there's actually out here in Boston. There's yeah. this, this uh, Fenway Park that gets destroyed, the state house. So it's showing you through these games and movies that hey the destruction's coming here to America, bro. Yep. And then, and then, and then, this one, the beginning of the scene, too, they showed a nuclear, the, the nuclear blast. Yeah. The prepared, white, and then, and then they were wise in. And everybody took cross money and then, 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 and
and every mountain and island were removed out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bond men, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains, and said into the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of the wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? Right, and again, going back to them with those bunkers, going back to them being in those caves. They said, fall on us and hide us from the wrath of the Lord. So they know and they understand that the Lord is coming, man. And they know and understand that when the Lord does come, he's coming with them thermonuclear missiles to blow this place to smithereens. You see? Go ahead, brother. This is our Revelations 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. Mm -hmm. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. Yep. And in righteousness do he judge and make war. Yep. His eyes were as a flame of fire, yep. and on his head were many crowns. Yep. And he had the name written that no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, mm -hmm. and his name is called the Word of the Most High. Right, and what, what was the key thing there? His head, he had many crowns on his head. He's going to strip these other nations of these of these so-called crowns that they're wearing. And <clears throat> where's he going to give me that? No, was that second Ezra? He's going to give us those crowns? Second Ezra chapter, chapter 2? Yeah. Yep, give me that. Yep. Because the, the crowns that the Lord has put on his own head, he's going to set them upon the right heads where they belong. Go ahead. Uh, second Ezra chapter 2 verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion yep. a great people. Yep. whom I could not number, yep. and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns. That's right, because he's going to strip, he's going to strip and take down all these kings of the earth as, as part of his job, as part of fulfilling the will of the Heavenly Father, right? And then he's going to what? Come to his, his, his hopeful elect, his elect at this point, and put them crowns on their heads. Well, we're in that number. See, go ahead. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted. I marveled that great. Yep. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing right. and put on immortal right. and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now uh, are they crowned and received palms. Go ahead. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowned of them and give them palms in their hands? Yep. So he answered and said unto me, "This it's the son of the Most High, right. whom they confess in the world." Go ahead. Then began I, then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Hold it right there. Why, why is Ezra saying that I begin to commend them that have stood so stiffly? Because being out here on the highways and byways as a as a prophet, as a as a messenger. As a as a as a, a, a man of the Lord, as a hopeful elect, you're coming out here doing what? The work of the Lord amongst all types of calamity, amongst all types of adversity. And this is where, and this is why Ezra said, These be they that have stood so stiffly. If you out there and you doing something and you ain't going against and people ain't coming against you and you and they're not, you know, coming at you in some shape or fashion, then you aren't in the right step, man. Because we come out here amongst every type of nation that has been placed in America that walks by here. These be they that have stood so stiff for the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Right? And coming out standing stiffly is gonna what? It's gonna cause, it's gonna cause some animosity. It's gonna cause some hatred. Because we're speaking things that aren't tasteful in the eyes of those in Babylon, man. We're telling you things that aren't, aren't, aren't uh, friendly or aren't conducive to what goes on here in America. We're prophets. We've been set up to, to prophesy the downfall of this king and the downfall of the kings of this earth. Now, can you, can you finish off on that? <coughs> Want to death for them, give them all. And not only Paul, but they put a lot of Israelite, Israelite men to death, man, for standing up for the word of the Lord. A lot of men have been put to death. So we're doing the very same thing that our forefathers was doing. It just so happens now that the Lord has put that hedge about us and there's no harm and no evil coming towards us because the Lord has governed the angels around us to, to watch us round about. Go ahead. 
uh, Second Ezra 2 and uh, 47. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High, mm -hmm. whom they have confessed in the world. Yep. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Go ahead. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Right, so we're going on, we're telling you, we're telling you everything that we have been commanded to tell you. That's right. About the death and destruction, about the gracious and the, and the, and the kind, loving kindness of the Lord to the hope for the elect and his chosen people, man. This is what we're doing. We're talking about the downfall of all these nations and all these countries. We're talking about the we the no stone of time, man. And this is our job as prophets. This is our job as messengers. To warn you, to give them warning, to let them know if you ain't getting right, the Lord might come and strike you through, man. You know? And, and, and again, as we stand here to this very day, there's nothing better than we'd rather be doing than coming out here doing exactly what we've been commanded to do, man. And, and it's a beautiful thing, Lord willing, if somebody receives and understands and hears it and believes it, man, that's all through the Spirit. You got something, brother? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, <coughs> this is a second Ezra 15, I start at, uh, at 8. Yep. It says, Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which that which they profanely profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. And behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. And behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, yep. and I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm, and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the lands thereof. Right, we're talking about modern day Egypt, which is America. This is the place that the Lord is going to smite. This is the place that the Lord is going to stretch out his arm and recover us from. Okay? He said he's going to smite it as Egypt as before. Because that first Egypt, the Lord hit with all types of all types of uh, plagues, man. Oh, yeah. But these plagues, these plagues, the 10 plagues, the 10 plagues, yeah, let's, 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 review, let's review the 10 plagues that the Lord hit the, the first Egypt with. First it was the blood, yeah, you can read it if you want to. Sure, sure. Yep, yep. The first one was the blood. Yep. The second was the frog. Frogs, yep. The third one was was was, was the gnats. Mm -hmm. The fourth was the flies. Mm -hmm. The the second the um the fifth one was the livestock. Yep. Boils. Mm -hmm. Hell. Locusts. Mm -hmm. Darkness. Yep. And the death of every firstborn, which is the which is the tenth plague. That's right. So those are all the things that the Lord smite ancient Egypt with. But what is he going to smite Egypt with this time, man? Good. What you got? Yeah, uh, this is second Ezra sixteen and one. Mm -hmm. It says, "Woe be unto thee, Babylon, Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria." Mm -hmm. It says, "Gird up, gird up yourself a cloth of uh, a cloth of sack yep. and hair, and bewail your children, and be sorry for the destructions at hand. Mm -hmm. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back?" Right. A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Now, mind you. All these titles are now labeled for this place, man. These are all the titles that belong to this place. Um, and you have earned it, America. You've earned all these titles. Congratulations to you. And you're going to get smoke just like all these other kingdoms were smoke. Right. It says, a fire sent among you, and who may quench it? It says, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Right, so when the Lord smoke ancient Egypt with those plagues, he's going to smoke modern day Egypt with those plagues. Is going to be a thermonuclear missile and that fire mm -hmm. that's going to quench everything, it's going to burn up everything. Man, go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Let's see somebody try. Uh -huh. When a lion gets hungry, he ain't going nowhere until he gets you, man. You can you can yell and scream and yeah, I got it, I got it. <laughs> that lion's gonna be like, Nigga. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Next thing you know, and you know, you always see eat them with these lions in, in, in these zoos, you know, going in the lion cage and. and Fucking around with these fucking wild animals. He saw next thing you know, he saw gets eaten up and bit just eat mauled. And what do they do? They put the lion down. Because some dumbass jackass jumped into the lion's cage and started fucking with him. Oh, Watching him. Put, put that nigga out of his misery. He may be, you know, hang, there was one there was one uh thing I was listening to 
the lady tried to pat the goddamn lion in the thing and it snapped on her arm. So she was able to call 911. So she was like, please hurry. Please, he's ripping my arm off. Please. You can hear the lion in the back. You know, pulling and tugging. But why would you do such a thing? You see? It's a simple with that lady. She want a monkey? pet. She, no, there was a monkey too, but there's another one. She want a pet snake, and the snake go oh, yeah, off. I saw that. I saw and that. Then, and then, and they almost choke her to death. Yeah. You know, and, and then two got to come in trying to pull. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, well, she, she, stayed, she stayed calm. She stayed calm, but she was but getting man. nervous. She's like, all right, all right, now get him. Right. Let him wrap around me. Don't let him wrap around me. Right there. Oh, Don't let him wrap around me. You know, that's what you got, brother. I got, I got this video with uh, the guy he, he being uh, big by a lion. Yeah, what that one? It's a video? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> you see that? Dragging his ass off. See him? Yeah, there's no helping him. Who may turn away a hungry lion in the wood, man? <laughs> yeah, my man says, shoo! <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Y'all get the gist. Y'all get the gist. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know see that? And listen, listen. Give me that in Give me that. Give me that. Because that goes right along with what's, what's happening right here. See these animals, they're doing what they do by nature. Right? You can't you can't tame and train a goddamn lion to do what you want. <clears throat> they're wild animals, man. And, and, and when these wild animals get back into that mindset, you can see them, they, they get that look, and all of a sudden it's on. Because now you're just a piece of meat, man. You're a prey. And, and if you go out there thinking that these lions, uh, uh, you know, Sigmund was it Sigmund and Freud? Yeah, yeah. Them two characters had these fucking lions and they was, you know, doing all kinds of tricks and all kinds of acrobats with the lions until one day the lion said, fuck that. Boom! Yeah, oh, yeah. him down, dragged his ass around. Yep. You see? You got it, brother? Uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 21. That's it. Who knoweth the spirit of man that goeth upward, upward and the spirit of the beast that goeth downward to the earth? Right, so why should these animals be judged for the fact that they they maul or they maul the dude who tried to get in their cage? <laughs> You know, the spirit of a man goes up to be judged, but the spirit of people goes downwards because they don't have to be judged. They're doing what they do by nature. Yeah. They're in their they're in their habitat. So when a, a man decides to catch a lion, put him in the cage, and then taunt the goddamn lion and throw kinds of all kinds of you know shit at him and try to you know f have fun, it's all fun and games. So they sink them goddamn fangs yeah. in them and drag them off into the damn to the cage, and now everybody's screaming. Now, you don't do that. Help us, please. Now everybody's concerned. I remember, I remember the other uh, long time ago, like there was a video that I was pulling up. Hold that though, brother. We gotta come back. Uh, he was around the seventies, you know, and it was in Africa where he saw this family. He got the car to go take a picture of the line, you know, and then um, and then while he was taking a picture, the the the, the female line sneak up behind her and then jump on his ass and then tear to pieces. Yeah, right you know, so. and follow their family. They have to cut the audio off because you can hear the screaming. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna send sh to yeah, you, yeah, but you know, and then and then they tore him up, and then uh, and then and then of course the viewer got cut off. And then when when, when the viewer came back to the scene, half of the man's body was missing. Good. You know, Good. half of the man's Good. body was missing. Good. You know, Good. he was he was supposed to stay in the car and not get up, but you know, Esau being Esau, got out to take a picture like this. You know. Good. They say you play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> right. you know yeah, Go ahead, brother. You got exactly. something to say? No, I was going to say, I saw the same thing. Just uh, an example of how strong a lion is. There was this guy, they they gave this lion a rope, and they had all these big men trying to tug, tug a war with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That female yeah. lion was, it was a it was Wasn't even Wasn't even Yeah, man, these are, these are animals, man. These are wild, big ass animals. Right. You know, so saying all that, the scripture said, Man, any man turn away a hungry lion in the wood. That's why we kind of went down that road. 
because Esau thinks they can do that. You see, Esau's totally against the scriptures, man. If Esau had read these scriptures, he's like, well, listen, we're going to leave those animals alone. Let them go, go yeah. bring them back to the Saharas and wherever they go, let them do their thing. Animal, animal Esau, is, Esau is an opportunist. He's going to try to make money any shape, form, fashion, which he probably will. Goes, buys a zoo, puts the glass up, puts the animals in there. animals want to be in them goddamn cages, man. You know, let's read on. Uh -huh. um, quick piece of yeah, bro, back to shoot it, shoot um, it. This is a Micah chapter 5, verse 8. And it reads, it says, The remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles mm -hmm. in the midst of many people mm -hmm. as a lion among the beasts of the forest and as a young lion among the flocks of the sheep. It says, who, if he go through, both, t uh, both tear down and tear in pieces mm -hmm. and none can deliver. That's right. So mm -hmm. the Lord the Lord is very specific when it comes to using t uh, the lion in certain examples. All right, and that's a lesson unto us in this time period that what you did. Don't be fucking around with lions. Fucking around and trying to do something out, out, out power, out think a lion, man. Lions right. are cunning. Lord, that's why Yahweh Shai is also known as that lion. Very cunning, very precise, vicious, ferocious. All right, and you're going to see that when he comes back to crack them clouds, man. That's right, that's right. You're going to see that lion. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, Ezekiel 25, and started verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will stretch out my hand upon Edom, mm -hmm. and I will cut off man and beast from it. Mm -hmm. And I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. That's it. All right? So the Lord is about to make this thing go down, man. We're about to see a lot of things unfold right before our very eyes. And at the same time, be a little fearful because it's like, wow, the Lord, the Lord is really making his word come to life, man. You know, we're reading the prophecies now that we're reading them and now that they're starting to come to pass we start to get it we start to get the spirit and it's like wow this, this is here this is it but we also still got to be fearful of y'all watch me all shine all right we're still service of the lord the servant is not greater than his master be mindful that the lord also went through some shit. we ain't gonna be experienced there's no exception for us we ain't gonna slide through this beast and just be like that nothing's gonna come near us you gotta be ready man and be ready to take on any kind of calamity that comes forth that the Lord sent him, man. That's right. and, and, and reading about the Apostle Paul, reading about what he went through and what he had with ailments and the trials and tribulations that he went through, being stoned, being in perils with his own country, all these things the Apostle Paul went through. And he, Paul said what? These writings were left for our learning. So we got to prepare ourselves on the spiritual level, on the physical level, the mental level, to know that we still, we're still in the grasp of our enemies, man. That's why we got to Please the Lord in any shape, form, or fashion. The scriptures say to, to Cain, the Lord said to Cain, if thou doest well, thou wilt be accepted. So we gotta maintain and continue to do well in the eyes of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that we may be accepted, man. And that we, listen, the Lord can turn, the Lord can do anything he wants, man. Our, our righteousness are as filthy rags, as it says. So therefore, don't think for one minute because you are here prophesying that you, you, you've gained a pass to, to freedom, man. Nah, you gotta be diligent, man, and be very mindful of the things that you're involved in. Because the Lord will wipe you out if he feels if, if he sees fit, if he sees fit to do so. Alright, let's read on. Let's turn. Um going back to verse six. It, um we'll start at the top. It says, May any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, mm -hmm. or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it has begun to burn. Right, when I'm throwing nuclear fire start, man, ain't nobody ain't nobody coming. Ain't nobody coming to put them sure. fires out, man. They're gonna have to burn themselves out. And who knows how long that's gonna take? Smoke's gonna go from generation to generation, pretty much. Man. See? Go ahead. Uh huh. It says, "May one turn again the arrow that is shot out of a strong archer." Mm -hmm. And just taking it from, just taking it from a, 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 a human perspective. You see those archers? They cock that shit back. You know, they got all kinds of fancy shit now. Two finger shit, and they do all this shit. You ain't, you ain't stopping that arrow. There's no pause button to say, oh, 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 I, I let it, I released it wrong. Stop the arrow, bring it back. No, ain't nobody gonna be able to do that. So the questions are being asked. May anyone turn back an arrow which is shot by a mighty archer? And likewise, some thermonuclear missiles that are also known as arrows when they get shot out of those silos. Ain't no timeout. Ain't no, oops, we fired it by mistake. Warn the people. That shit is gonna, that shit is gonna hit its destination, man. It's target. Go ahead. This way. Um. Yeah, verse 8, it says, The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, mm -hmm. and, and who is he that can drive them away? Right, so who's going to be able to buck up and stand against the Lord, man? 
Who gonna be able to overthrow what the Lord has put in play, man? Nobody. As the scripture says, it will accomplish that which he pleases. You see? And this is and this is something we know, man. That's why it's a fearful thing to fuck around with the Lord. You wanna fuck around and try to do something outside of what the Lord has sanctioned? Or be somebody outside of what the Lord has put you on this planet to be? Fuck around, man. The Lord's gonna show you. He's gonna show you and make an example out of you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? Uh -huh. It says, he shall cast lightning, and who shall not fear? Yep. He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Yep. It says, the Lord has threatened, threatened, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder yep. as, at his presence? Yep. It says, the earth quaketh, and the foundation thereof, and the sea arise up with waves from the deep, yep. and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, it says, before the Lord and before the glory of his power. That's right. Now it's going to start getting into the thermonuclear missiles that the Lord is going to shoot over here in Babylon. All right? It's all it's all building up, man. And it's building up to that climax. Every movie you watch has a build-up. It's the climax. And sometimes you're at the edge of your seat like, oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sometimes you're like, oh, this is bullshit. Right now, we're at, the edge, we're at the edge of our seat. We're like, all right, now we're here. You know, with the, with the non believers, they're like, oh, this is bullshit. Man. These guys have been saying the same thing for years. Ain't nothing ever happened. Because America has continued on to support they under they forget that we're ready to have a cook. All things are have an appointed time, man. Everything has an appointed time. So that being said, you gotta measure the time that you're living in. And now that we have been measuring and watching, diligently watching, and diligently prophesying, we are now measuring how things are going down. Right? These things are starting to happen. And before you know it, America's gonna have the stronghold around its neck again, right? And they're gonna stop the food. They're gonna say China launched a, uh, some type of EMP that's gonna shut down the electrical system and the, the internet service. They're gonna do all that shit, man. Well, they're gonna put you. They're gonna put America right, bring America right to its knees. Yep. Then they're gonna say, "Fuck it, we just gotta do what they say." Come on, guys. We just gotta do what they say. You know? Now, again, you know. We, we prophesy about these things. People may think that we just out here blowing smoke, but it's for the believers to believe. That's it. We don't give a shit about anybody else. If we ain't a believer, then we don't care about you. Because this ain't for you. Go ahead. Let's go ahead, brother. Yep. Just to back up, yes, you said that. Let me get our second Ezra 15, 15. and um, I'll get verse 3. Fear sure. not the imaginations against thee. Right. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee yep. that speak against thee. Right, well, again, once again, the belief, the, the non believers, the non belief, all right? They've been talking shit to us for years. Even to this very day, we got scoffers and scorners coming on the comment boards talking shit. But what are you going to do when the Lord shuts this shit down, man? When the Lord sews it up, shuts down the internet server, what are you going to do then? Then you're going to be shaking in your boots talking about, damn, maybe you guys was right. Maybe I shouldn't be talking. Maybe I should have been listening and paying attention and not laughing and scoffing. But, you, but we understand that you have an appointed time. And that's your appointed time to be put to death when that time comes. Yeah, people don't like when you speak about being put to death. But you have to. You have to, man. Somebody has to die. When you go to war, somebody has to die. Right? You can't have war without casualties. As the scripture says, a time to live and a time to die, man. So these are the times that we're coming into where there's going to start to be a lot of death. And it's going to, a lot of death is going to be by the hands of Esau and Edom, man. And some of the shit that they, some of the shit that they're going to be putting out there in the world, man. You know, they're talking about the barium oxide, you know, the, the chemtrails have nano, nano product, particles in it that people are now inhaling. And that shit's getting into your system. And all these things are now fucking with people's system. People are dying, dropping dead for heart attacks. Teenagers dropping dead of heart attacks, man. Culminated with that 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 juice that they gave people. He saw the perfect devil, man. The Lord picked the perfect nation of people to do exactly what he wanted and do it with precision, man. Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. So everything there is a season right. and a time to every purpose. Yep. Under the heaven. Yep. A time to be born and a time to die. Right. Now going now going back to when the Lord said he is a perfect balance. Right? That is a righteous thing because you have to have a balance in everything that you do. When we read these, what's, what these are all about, it's all about balance. You can't have one without the other, so to say. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Proverbs 11 and 1. Yep. False balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. See, a just weight is a delight. And this is why as we read these, these are just weight. You're going to have one, and you're going to have the other. And they're going to complement one another, if you will. Go ahead. A time to be born and a time to die. That's a just weight. That's complimentary right there. Go ahead. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Go ahead. A time to kill and a time to heal. Go ahead. A time to break down and a time to build up. Right. So when we're out here on the highways prophesying, we're now prophesying about the things that are being broken down. America's being broken down. These nations are being broken down. We're not in the time of building up the nations and, and showing the nations the way of the Lord. We're not in that time right now. We're going to have to show these nations when that time comes, but this ain't the time, man. We're in the time of letting you know that the Heavenly Father is about to rain down upon this place, Babylon the Great, and many other various parts of the earth whom he sees fit to destroy or, or, or set on fire, man. Go ahead. A time to weep and a time to laugh, mm -hmm. a time to mourn and a time to dance. Yep. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. Mm -hmm. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to bring and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. A time to love and a time to hate. You know, we, we, throughout the years, we've been always, you know, pinpointed that great millstone, they hate their own people. They hate their own people. No, it's not that we hate our own people, we hate wickedness. Right. And if our people are committing wickedness, then we hate it. You see? But this is the time we're living in. We're not in the time of love. Just look around the world. Look what's going on. Look what's going on over there in Dubai. There ain't no love being shown over there in Dubai right now. Ain't America, America's not sending aid over to Dubai. They out there, I mean, them niggas are swimming over there right now. <laughs> Back stroking and the whole shit. You ain't hear America talking about, oh, we gotta go rescue Dubai and, like any other time. Oh, pray for them. Pray for them. Yeah, 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 there's nothing going on over there in Dubai. Facebook, 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 Facebook. Yeah. Right. Facebook. Ain't nobody talking a, a goddamn thing about Dubai. Right. But, 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 you know, right. Well, ain't nobody marching. No right. flags, no, no flags, and no. no Facebook, you know, the Facebook uh, icons, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, holding up a fucking bucket or something. Nah, there ain't, ain't shit going on, man. So we ain't in that time of love, all right? Everybody's putting on their battle shoes, their battle suits, helmet, shield, and buckler, getting ready for war. Go ahead, Ola. Yeah, I was pretty Come on, come on. You see? But this is the time we're living in. Time of, of, of being ready for the war, being prepared. Being ready for anything that that the Lord now is going to send upon this place, you know. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter uh, thirty-three. I started thirteen. It says, "As the clay is in the potter's hands to fashion it as his, at his pleasure." Yep. Same thing. Yep. That's the spirit, brother. It says, um, as, "I'm reading one time." It says, "As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it as at his pleasure." So man is in the hands of him that made him, and to render them as liking him best. It says, good is said against evil, and life against death. So is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. Mm -hmm. So, so there's, there's always one thing said against another, right? So now in this time, right? We, Isaiah 63 is a good chapter, right? Because he talks about in the first, I think, seven or so verses, about how he's going to destroy Ikea. And then in the next verses, he tells, he tells you that he'll mention the loving kindness that he asked for. Right? So there's there's always a, a time and a season, right? And that, right now we're in the time and season of all hell breaking loose, right? The, the scripture, they go to what was said, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Uh, Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Yeah. Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. Yeah. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, yeah. but he shall be saved out of it. Right. So right now we're we're in the time of, of Jacob's trouble, or we're like uh, uh, as the scriptures say, the beginning of sorrow. Yeah. Right. So we're we're kind of we're, we're we're working our way into the time of Jacob's trouble. Right. Because right now it's pretty 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 uh, stable as far as uh, society goes. 
everything is stable. There's, you know, nobody's nobody's stealing to get food. You still go to the grocery store. You can still, you know, go to the bar and get your orange slice on it. You know, you can still you can still do certain things. You can still there's still certain pleasures. It's going to turn for the worst, man. I mean, it's going to be uncomfortable, but that's just the time we're in. We, we must need to be, like the scriptures say, that offenses come. Right? So hard times are are going to happen. Hard times are going to come. But we have to remember that it's the will of the Heavenly Father for those hard times to come. And pray uh, for, for you know, endurance. Right? Pray for, uh, what's that, uh, so is it 2 Timothy 2 and 3? Uh, so, yeah, yep, yep. We have to pray for perseverance. We have to pray for the spirit of endurance so that whatever the Heavenly Father has planned or, or slated for this place, that we're, we're able to walk through on the other side of it unscathed. Just like the story of uh, the you know, three holy children, right? Uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were all walking in the fire, right? They, 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 didn't, they didn't pray not to be put in the fire. They prayed that when they were in the fire that they could be that they could be sustained. But what happened the, 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 the angel was in there with them, right? And so we, we pray for the same thing. Not 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 that we don't feel the fire. This is a second Timothy chapter two, verse three. Yeah. And it reads, it says, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Yeah. No man that would uh, uh, no man that would entangle himself with the right. fears of this life. Right. No man that would entangle himself with the affairs of this life, all right? Mm -hmm. So so what does that mean, right? That you can't be focused on um, necessarily the, 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 the pleasantries of this world, right? But we're, we're at war, right? So we, we got to pray for endurance. Somebody look up that word, endure. In, endure. E-N-D-U-R-E. -E. Endure. Endure. I'm not talking to you. Uh, endure. <laughs> uh, to suffer. Something painful or yeah. difficult. Right, to suffer. Something came yeah. or difficult, uh, or difficult right? So, so uh, just like they say, the passion of Christ, look at that word passion, right? Because the Lord had to endure to Yeah, somebody talk to this one. What's that passion? <laughs> uh, strong or barely controllable emotion. The, the second one, the suffering and That's death it. of Yahweh Shai. Right, the Ooh. suffering of Yahweh Shai, right? And, and the go to, what is that? Uh, is it Hebrews? Or it said he was made perfect? Yeah. Uh, Hebrew is Hebrews 2 and 10? 1 and 10? 2 and 10? 2 and 10? Yeah. <laughs> hit, me, hit me with that. Uh, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 10. Yeah. And it reads, it says, it says, For it became him for whom are all things, yeah. and by whom are all things, yeah. and bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through yeah. suffering. Here we go, full circle. We talked about the horn of our salvation in the beginning. Now we're talking about the captain of our salvation, which is the Lord Yahweh Shai. What did it say about him? Captain of our salvation. Oh, 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 it comes. No, no, that's all good. Uh, um, it says, um, it says, it says, uh, for it became him for, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, and bringing many sons unto glory yep. to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Right, that's right. So he was made perfect through, through suffering. I think there's another one in Hebrews 5 where it said uh, being made perfect. I think it's 5. five. Mm -hmm. five. Go ahead, bro. Like this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Mm -hmm. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for me, yeah. for my strength is made perfect in weakness. That's right. My strength was made perfect in weak in weakness. And then it was said uh there's also I, I think I was reading a little while ago when I was trying to look for that scripture that said uh I will glory in the things which I suffer. Right? So we, we gotta we gotta keep that in mind. So I, I, I say all of those things, we read all of those things to say that even though the time of Jacob's trouble is coming, 
We have to pray for endurance. We have to pray for perseverance. This is Psalm 122, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set the heart aright and constantly endure. So there's the word endure again. Constantly endure, right? So the, 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 the word perseverance comes to mind. Right? So you, that's, what, that's what we're going to need. We, we don't we don't speak these things to say, kids, come on, bring it on, nigga. Bring it on, nigga. Like we, you know, we just some 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 grunts yeah. or some uh some hard asses. No man, we understand that we we have to have a certain spirit on us in order to be able to main, maintain our mental faculties huh. while all of this hell is breaking loose. Yep. You know, we understand that. You know? But we pray that the Lord gives us endurance. <laughs> we pray that the Lord gives us the spirit of, of perseverance so that we can continue to uh, grow in, in faith, right? And we believe that these things are gonna happen because when you go to when you go to uh second Ezra 16, it, it, it starts to talk about how the men of the Lord are, are gonna be persecuted, right? Some of us are, are gonna be persecuted more than others. And so you don't ask the Lord like oh, I, don't, I don't want none of that. No, you don't ask that. You ask for the spirit of endurance. Oh. You ask for the spirit of, of perseverance so that you can get through those things. What does it say that it will, uh, there will be a tradition upon those that fear the Lord? Yep. I mean, I'm sorry, a sedition. Yeah, yeah, hit me with that. Uh, Second Ezra 16 and uh, 60, uh, 68. Yep. For yep. behold, the burning wrath of a multitude, yep. of a great multitude yep. is kindled over you, yep. and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle, right. and things right. offered unto idols. Right, so they're going to they gonna, they gonna try certain things to us. Right, go ahead. Uh, and they it also that, says that too in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, it talks about how the wicked they go, okay, well, they're the, they're the children of the Lord, right? Well, let's see, you know, let's see, let's, let's do this today, do that today. Keep going, bro. Uh, 69 And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot, yep. for there shall be in every place and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Yep. They shall be like madmen, yep. sparing none, yep. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right. So they're going to be spoiling and destroying those of us that fear the Lord. Right. Keep on. Yep. Uh, they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Yep. Then shall they be known yep. who are my chosen. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, right? Because it won't be a mystery then. Because those are who are the Lord's chosen are going to endure. They're going to stand just like the brothers in uh, 2 Maccabees, the 7th chapter, did, right? And now it ain't going to be no mystery about who, who's who and who got the truth and who was right, who was wrong. It ain't going to be a mystery going on because the men of the Lord that really believe in this thing and that the Heavenly Father has endowed with the Spirit, are, they're going to stand in those days. They're going to persevere in those days and those who, you know, who ain't quite built for them all. Thou shalt set this, uh, uh, they should cast you to prison. Yes, yes, that's that's uh, ten uh, times. Uh, two yeah. and ten. Two yeah. and ten. He yep. said, "If he die fifth one to death, yeah. now you yeah. get a borrowed yeah. life." Right. So we, we have to we have to have the ability, or, or you say it this way, we have to pray that the heavenly Father gives us the ability to have that that level of perseverance, that level of patience that is going to take. To, to really to really get through to the other side, get through, you know, uh, to the kingdom of heaven, if you will. You got something? Yeah, Psalms 31 and 24. Mm -hmm. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your hearts, yeah. all ye that have hope in the Lord. Yeah, all ye that have hope in the Lord, he will strengthen your hearts. Right? If you, if you, if we would have kept going in uh, uh, Sirach 2, you still got it? Oh, I have second verse. Uh, if you go, if it says, uh, it says, uh, Acceptable. Yeah, you got it. Was it two and ten? Yeah, two and five. Two and five. Two and five. Two and, five. and he said, um, so much of the two. I'm gonna start verse four. Yep. He said, whatsoever is put upon thee, take cheerfully, yep. and be patient with thou or change to a lower state. Be patient. Part of endurance and part of perseverance is patience, right? Because you, especially when the, the the future isn't clear, it's grim. It looks like oh shit, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, it takes patience and, 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 and work in the system, if you will, the system of faith in this case, to, to, to and trusting in it and, and hoping that you're going to make it out on the other
other side. And that's what it's going to take. Patience, endurance, perseverance, all those things, you know? And, yeah. he, and he said one more. And he said verse 5, For gold is tried in the fire, yeah. and acceptable man in the furnace of our vision. Right. Gold is tried in the fire, right? And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So if you want to be accepted by the Lord, you got to also accept the adversity. you got to also accept the adversity and hope that, you know, you can be strengthened in those things. I, 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 I like to talk about talk about that because you know some some would ha some would some would uh, assume right that because we're not gangsters and thugs that we we somehow are not built for the things that are coming and, I, and I'll concede and say no I'm not I'm not but I hope that the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai puts the spirit on me to be able to endure whatever is coming our way. You know? I'm not I've never been uh you know, sitting, sitting on the streets and gunfights or uh, you know, you, you in hand-to-hand -hand combat, somebody pull out a knife and now you dodging a knife like fucking like your goddamn beaded video. <laughs> you know, I, I I've never I never lived that kind of life. If you if you know I was a good kid, went to school, did my homework. I right, got got the grades I was supposed to get. Played sports from my high school. Like that's that's the kid I was. You know what I mean. So I, I've never been no you know, in the in the thick of things, if you will. But I understand that these things are going to happen. The time of Jacob's trouble is going to happen, and I pray that the Lord put the Spirit on me to, to get through. Yep. Yep. Continuing yep. back at Second Ezra sixteen, yep. and I left off at uh, seventy three. Uh, and then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Yep. Hear, O ye, my beloved, yep. said the Lord. Yep. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. Right, the days of trouble are at hand, and there's this, there's this uh, continuing theme of being tried in the fire, gold being tried in the fire. Right, the scriptures say that a man shall be likened unto the fine gold of Ophir. Right. If you're going to be the fine gold of earth, offer, you got to be tried in adversity, right? Or tried in fire, right? Go ahead. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yep, be right. ye not afraid, neither doubt, right. for the Most High is your God. Right. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. So it's not like we don't know what's going to happen. We know what's going to happen. Be not afraid. Don't doubt, right? And the Lord is going to fight for you, man. The Lord, the Lord is going to fight for you. We, we can read about that in Acts, where you had the, the apostles being locked up and being beaten, being, you know, uh, what we call in today's day, they jump, getting jumped, you know. And, uh, Paul, in Paul's case, getting getting stoned to the point of death. He died. He was revived, you know. The Lord sent them back. Now nah, you got some work to do, my guy. He sent them back down there, man, you know. So we, we got we to gotta know that the same things are going to happen to us, but we have to take the same, the same frame of mind that they took, where they was like, look, man, look, they're going to kick our ass, but so be it. It's about pushing the word of the Lord Yahweh Shai, because they saw it, right? They saw, they saw that man die. I saw him. He got hung up on the cross, and I saw when he gave up the spirit, the, it was an earthquake. And then he, when they put him in the sepulcher, I, I talked with him. I, I ate with him. I saw it. So imagine the, the, the amount of fervency that that gave them to go out and, and, and push the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah. What did he say? Peter Peter was like, look, man, I ain't got no money for you. But I got the name of the Lord Yahweh Shah. The dude that was lame leapt up. Yep. That's all they had was the name of the Lord, right? But they did it with a, a level of fervency and a level of belief and a level of faith because they saw it. So we have to we have to believe it in that same with that same level of fervor, because that's what's going to carry us. That's what's going to give us when, when we talk about uh, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. The wisdom and knowledge of what that the Lord Yahweh Shai going to do what he what he said he was going to do, right? So that's what's that's what's going to keep us going. That's what's going to push us through. You, you when you read the stories of the apostles, they was getting beat down. <laughs> Every other weekend, he's like, "Hey, y'all ready? Yeah, you know, yeah, gotta go out there." And they was they 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 got out they got out of prison, the the the, the, the they got, they got freed from the prison, and they went right back into the city and went to go teach again, right? And so you you had no doubt about whether or not they were men of the Lord, 
because they were they were standing on what it was they believed in. This is this is why being on the highways and byways, right? Is we, we we do it all the time, so we, we take it for granted sometimes. But it's important because we're standing on what it is we believe in. We're we're starting the process of that of, of that persecution and on lar on a large scale. That's gonna happen to us, man. Well, the, They're I gonna you 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 I, when I, you know what I think about? They got they got they got a Drake verse that was made with AI. Yeah. <laughs> imagine that. Wow. <laughs> imagine that. Right, right. So imagine they got you on a call saying some bogus shit. Uh, if and you get framed, what you gonna do? You gonna say no, it wasn't me? You gonna have to do what the Lord Yahweh Shai did. Thou says. They, 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 they Thou says. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all good. Like, if I mean, yeah, they may have a hologram where um, they were sitting yeah. on TikTok, right? <laughs> like the, 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 the guy took the face of a, of a person next to him mm -hmm. and put it on, on, on the shooter's computer and he appears to be real. Meanwhile, it's all over there, yeah. but it's shown right there, yeah. making him feel that it looks so yeah. real. Got you killing somebody. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, now they got you in the, um, they got you in the first 48 room. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, was this you? This, this ain't you? You looking, you looking at the video, like, damn, that shit, it do, do look like me. Yeah, yeah, Now you gonna think, now you gonna think you're tripping, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got me, you got me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right. But you're gonna have to take the same uh, frame of mind as Louis Yahweh Shot. So, hey, look, I was serious. They saying I did it, I did it, you know? And you take, you take whatever's coming with it, man. You know, that, that's just a part of the... It's a part of the. Oh, give me um, right, real, real quick too, though. Uh, That's like when, where when, was it? Though? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say real quick, like when, when Peter was going about and the lady accused him, said, "Oh, he was one of them," and Peter was like, "I know not that man. I don't know him." You know, so there's gonna be a point in time where you're gonna have to have to fess up. Like, listen, you're gonna die for the Lord. You're gonna be a, 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 a for the Lord. Yeah. Or you're just gonna try to fake the fuck and deny the Lord. You know. So yeah. I got, I got this one real quick. This is um, Sirach, chapter 4, verse 28. And he says, okay. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Right, strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord will fight for thee. And that's what we, this is what this is really about, man. Striving for the truth, man. And, and again, if the Lord puts you in a position where your life may be taken, he may also deliver you from that taking. You know, and this is why you got to keep the faith and trust in the Lord at all times. It's when you're in your darkest hour and you think, yo, this is it. This is the dude come with the gun. Next you know, click and jam. He do one of these numbers. Next you know, the angel break free. You start hustling down the road. You know, that's all the Lord, man. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have faith, man. You gotta have total, yeah, untouched yeah. faith. Man. And we, and we have, we have scriptural examples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. You, you think of, you think of Daniel and the lions. Then mm -hmm. yep. we He's already not, mentioned, we already mentioned the three holy children, children yep. in the fire. Yep. Yep. We, we mentioned. Even even with oh. uh, with uh, the brothers in uh, um, Trinidad? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, brother. Um, uh, Second Maccabees, the oh. seventh chapter. Right. Even right. though their ultimate demise was they all died, but they did it in a way where they didn't compromise their integrity right. to mm -hmm. to keep their life. Yeah, right. Yeah, and, uh, so also too, let's talk about Elijah. They were they, 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 they were after to kill him. The Lord put him in there and um, had him in a, in a cave yep, yep. and said, birds to bring him food. Yep. And he was drinking fresh water yep. of that stream. Yep. So, yep. so the Lord was feeding him yep. for a month. Yep. So we have, yeah. we have, uh, give me that. Um, you had Sirach, right? Yeah. Two. Uh, Sirach I, 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 2 and I, I, go to the 10th verse. Go to the 10th verse. Yeah. Yeah. While he's getting that, Acts 21 and 13. Yep. Then Paul answered, what mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not only to be bound only, not ready to be bound yeah, only, yeah. but also to die at Jerusalem yeah. for the name of Yahweh. They were ready to go. You imagine somebody like Paul, right? <laughs> who, who he, you know, he, he was set. He had his mind set on a certain thing. Went to go get them letters so they can go down to Damascus and fuck some shit up, right? So he on the horse. He on the horse. He going through the city. The next thing you know, something knock him off the horse. Ooh. He falls. You see this bright light. Somebody talking to him. Then he goes blind and he gets his sight back and somebody came to see him. all this all this shit that happened to him. You you gonna you gonna you gonna with all vehemency push the word, man. Because of, of all those things that happened to you. So we have to have that same level of belief, right? Even more so because we we haven't seen those things that right. we've seen. So even more we have to have that 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 faith and belief that the Lord is gonna do this, do this thing, man. And, you know, the elder said it, said it earlier, and I, I said it the other day, thinking to, thinking to myself, 
man, I, we got to get out of here, man. <laughs> we got to get out of here, man. This is not a, uh, America's not a good place to live. No, definitely not. It's not a good place to live. Definitely not. It's not a, this is not a life, it's not a life to live, man. Imagine this, like you can't even, you can't even trust your wife with, yeah. your, with your kids. Yeah. Can you imagine that? That's true. Like you, like you say, look, look, don't give them the goddamn fucking candy. Don't give it to them. Yep. Next thing you know, a motherfucker got chocolate in his ears. Yeah, all over the fucking hands like that. Like, 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 I, 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 I said, look, look, don't put no fucking, no fucking keep no candy in the chip that you, oh, I hit it. I hit it. Nigga found the shit. He found it. Right. You know, now you mad. You bent out of shape. You want to, you want to choke her. You want to beat the kid because he ain't listening to you. This is like, like, like you told him, don't, don't give him that juice. Yeah, you know, and then yeah. she went behind look, him and said, okay, look. and then you're behind your back and yeah, give look, him that look, juice don't, anyway. Don't, like, don't give him the fruit snack. Did you, did you yeah. eat the fucking lady? Do you see this? Do you know what that is? I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? Then you send, you send, her, you might send her a video. Look, you can, you can make your own fruit snacks. You can make your own fruit snacks. Don't give the motherfucking no fruit snacks from Walmart. Which, which next thing you know, a couple, couple days later, you see that Mott's. That mots in your goddamn cabinet. Like, the like, cabinet like, right there to even make the trash. Yeah, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. And then my my on your pillow when you go to bed, like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, yep. but, 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 but I can be mad you know, a while back, you know. But, you know, I put it to the Lord and I give friends to y'all about to shot that yeah. my daughter was safe with the fact that, you know, when um when there was thing was going on, you know. Mm -hmm. um, the juice. The, yeah, the, 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 juice, the juice. The juicy juice yeah. that Issa was giving everybody to, to, the, um, to that shot. You know, and, and, and they see what it was due to a lot of people, even to kids. Yeah. I told my wife, don't do it. I explained to her, she said, yeah. okay. Yeah. After she agreed with me, went to work, yeah. took brought to the to the hospital, gave it to her anyway, man. But yeah. okay. you know, you know, because because yeah, women don't have any the same level of faith yeah. that we carry. You know? This is why the, the scriptures say uh, that ye the flock of my pasture are men. They don't have the same foresight that, that the men have, right, to, to, to persevere or to endure this thing, right? What, what are you really worried about? Your mom saying something to you? Why are you, why are you giving my baby that shot? I'm, I'm, my, my, my son, was, my younger son was a couple months old, you know, they get them, them vaccines. Yeah, you know, I had to, I, I didn't know anything about it back then. This is, this is seven now, this is years ago. And we didn't know about that kind of stuff back then, well, at least I didn't. So he got he got the first the first you know set of of, of, of uh, medicine we'll say and um, once once we started finding out about it I was like look man we're gonna have to find a doctor's office that really don't push that so we, we did but before we did she he was two months old and he, he was he, I got in the car usually when I see him he you know he, he ready to go still like that to this day he was in the back just sitting there. I said, I said, oh, what the fuck is wrong with my son, man? And she looking all guilty. I said, you took it, you, you, you let them give him them shots, didn't you? <laughs> she started crying, man. I'm like, I, I, told, I told you. Now I go to every doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. Every doctor's appointment. I can't, I can't, I can't trust you to just. It's not hard to say no. What are they gonna do? Yeah. They're gonna ask you why, and yeah. they're gonna tell you to just fill out this little form mm -hmm. so they're they're absolved of any responsibility of. If your kid gets sick, then they can't be to blame, right? Yep. You sign the paper, you move on. Yep, yep. A child in this in, the, in this in this in this state, um, infant, before the age of two, they should receive at least forty to fifty shots. Yeah. Yeah. I think that list is even longer. So yeah, so yeah, you're right. And then I think before before kindergarten, yep. oh, yeah. they, there's like seventy yeah. some odd shots that yeah. they gotta have. That's that's insane. I remember when we were kids, or well, when we were kids. I'm, not, I'm this brother probably remember better than me, but um, it was four. It was four before mm -hmm. kinder. You had to do four. Yep. You had to do tetanus. You had to do the. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, measles. 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 Uh, measles. So you had you had you had to do four. Yeah. You had to do four, and that was it. You went to kindergarten. You, I remember. I remember the day I got mine. I was in. Uh, I, I'm getting ready to tell the other, the, uh, the preschool I went to, oh. then you would have known where I was for. <laughs> yeah, hey, <bro. laughs> yeah, yeah that, there he is right there. Yeah. yeah, but I remember, I remember, I remember, like, uh, how, like, out of it I was. Four years old, you, you know, you had to get brought back to preschool because my mom had to go back to work. 
And I remember just like, you know, the, the, the my, my, my dad laid me down on the little mat and told the, the daycare lady, like, yeah, you know, he had his little shots today. I could hear my dad talking. I was just, <laughs> you, you know, you wake up, you see the kids looking at you. Come on, wake up, wake up. He's all, you know, the, the sounds foggy. Mm -hmm. But you, I remember that. I remember that, though, that, that moment. And uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, I just, while y'all were talking, I yeah, kind of yeah. Googled it. And uh, I Googled um, how many shots should a kid get before yep. K1. Yep. This is an article was from uh, Iowa. I know it's not Massachusetts, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it states your kid will get more than 50 shots before their Imagine adulthood. That. And they have like a chart listed. Mm -hmm. uh, hepatitis A, yep. B. Yep. Yep. I can't even pronounce some of this yeah. other stuff. Yeah. You know, but it's, and it's and crazy. And, so and, it's crazy. and if I may have two, right? The majority of this target is, is, is Jake. You know, because there was there was there was an Edomite who brought a documentary about how the majority of the South African American community, how uh, the majority of them that got the shot are the ones that end up with autism. Yeah. And yeah. that autism is coming from yeah. those shots. Yeah. You know? And then if they don't get you with the they don't get you with that tism, they they, they are, now your kid is normal and they, they, they fighting, they rough and tumbling. Yeah. Now they now they got ADHD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, he's a regular Israelite boy. Yeah. He wants to run, he wants to jump. He wants to climb trees. He wants to do a little fighting every once in a while. Somebody challenge him. He want to race. Yep, yep, yep. He's a regular boy, you know. Yep. And now you got ADHD. Now they want to push out Ritalin. Yeah, now they want to get Ritalin. Really, so you yeah. just sitting yeah. there drooling. Drooling. Yeah, yeah. 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 My, my, my cousin took party. that. Uh, my cousin had that. Man, I remember going over his house and he would just be sitting there, just, just looking at the TV. I'm like, damn, man, that dude he, he jacked up, ain't he? Yeah, yeah. I said, like, come on, man, let's go outside. He's just sitting there. Looking all, at that for the TV, riddled, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. that's best. So, so we we say all of that to say, um, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here, man. You know, we gotta get out of here. It's not a, it's not a good place, man. It's not a good place to live. Man. You know, you, you, you can't, you don't know what to eat. You just, you know, you're addicted to nutty bars. Sugar you know, you're, 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 I, I, I think I got a little more space over here in the corner. Until <laughs> <laughs> you go yeah. to Tedeschi's. Ezekiel said it. Ezekiel said it, man. You know, in our in our captivity, we're gonna eat out the foul yeah, bread yeah, yeah, yeah. everything. I'm gonna tell y'all, I've been, you know, I've been off meats now for a little over two months. And my, I feel, I feel, my body feels cleansed a little bit, you know. But them processed foods, man. Try to be aware and try to stay away from the processed foods and processed meats. That's not for poison, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good, brother. Micah 2 and 10 reads. Micah 2 and 10 reads, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction. It'll destroy you with the sword destruction, man. So we, you know, we gotta get out of here. Who don't wanna get out of here? What kind of person are you? You know, you wanna just stay here and be and be content with being a slave and being uh being uh, mistreated. You know? Being being boozy. Yeah, for sure. Fighting, fighting for your tax, income tax. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh man. You get three dollars. God damn. You saw I can't get a hundred. Nah, nah, three dollars this year, young man. Three dollars. Man, what? Did I miss something? Did I miss something? Three dollars. Now, now they're, they're trying to backtrack, going back ten years. Motherfuckers who may have claimed somebody else's kids. Oh yeah, yeah they'll catch some you. chick, some chick, some you know, some I don't know if she's a movie star or whatever. But um, she was being she was being audited because she claimed her little cousins. They took out I a loan. I can't remember who it was. She took out the loan. Now that they went back on her taxes, they said that loan was taken out fraudulently. Mm -hmm. So now you, you're looking at four years in jail. Imagine that shit. Imagine that shit. And let me tell you something. Seeing that she's a Jake, they'll give her that four years, man. Yeah, she, 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 can, she can kiss her ass goodbye. That's how they do Jake. Jake make one false move in this kingdom. Out of here. You know? Anybody else got anything? It's bedtime. Yeah, 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 it's bedtime. That was a shot. Shut him up. Oh, you can see, you can see the room. Yeah, that's slick, right?